All right, welcome everybody. Happy Saturday morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. Uh, do we have any new agents on with us today? If so, welcome. Uh, glad you could join us. Um, so my name is Marnie Hernandez and I am here. I can't in... hear you. you I can't see your hear mouth me? moving, but I can't hear you. Okay, can anybody hear me or no? <laughs> Nobody can hear me. I can hear you fine. All right. So, all right. So, who can't hear me? Paula? I can hear you. Okay. All right. So, you guys can hear me and see my screen okay? Maybe the one for, um, maybe have the mute on. Hold on. Let's see. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, check mute speaker. All right. All right, so again, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Uh, did anybody join us for Fiji yesterday? Was it Fiji? What was yesterday? Fiji? Yeah, that was a, a long one. We've got a, we finished our bronze and we're going to add our, um, add our uh, September uh, silver on. <laughs> so um, we'll be adding that. Uh, so just so you guys know um, what these are, are, just little get togethers that we do to learn about different destinations, different programs, different um, vendors and stuff. And we've been doing it now three or four times a week. Um, if you don't know what uh, trainings are coming up right here in our incentive voucher group, you guys should all be a part of this group. If not, please sign up for it. It's open to the entire company right here. Make sure you answer the questions. Um, but this will list all the trainings for the month, okay? Tomorrow, we're going to finish Canada, hopefully, okay? We, I had to reschedule last week because of the um, internet. For some reason, wasn't working. Uh, but we're back on today. So again, welcome. And, um, and again, if you need to um, look and see ahead of time, what's going on? You know, what trainings are going on? Um, I post them all in this incentive voucher group because it's open to the entire company. So that way you can see what's going on, what trainings are going on, what trainings I do. Um, so let me show you down here. Uh, Sandy Gunderson creates a spreadsheet for us also. So you guys can keep track of, um, you know, ahead of time. You guys can go in and register with any of these uh, programs and do these trainings on your own or again, join us and do them together. Uh, but a lot of these we have already completed. As you see down here, we've done Alaska, Atlantis, Australia. Um, somebody asked about Belize. We did do Belize, okay? So that is in here already. Um, California, I have a couple more I have to jump on for that. Um, but all these are in here for you. This is my YouTube channel, okay? So, um, you can find all my trainings there, okay? And I'll share that link with you also. So for any reason, if you need to jump out or you need to catch up, like I said, tomorrow we're doing um, uh, the fifth uh, training of Canada. So if you guys want to catch up on that, you can get in and do the um, uh, the four that we've already done and then join us tomorrow for the fifth one. Um, again, when we do these, for one thing, yeah, you're getting the knowledge of learning about the different destinations, the vendors, et cetera. But a lot of times you also get um, invited to familiarization trips. You get a um, oh new training out for VAX. Perfect. So we'll, we'll add that to our group. Um, there we go. Okay. So um, yeah, keep me updated on any trainings you want to do. So Vax, we'll add that to our list. Um, Vax, we need to finish Italy, I think, part two. I finally found the part one that we did. And then Fiji, we need to get to silver. Okay. All right. So as you see here, this is my YouTube channel. Um, I just posted the Fiji bronze. Uh, we did Colombia, Guiana. Uh, Galapagos, <laughs> Galapagos. So why is it Gus when it's a G-A-P-O-S? 
Galapath Galapas. Did I spell it wrong? Right. I have G A L A G A P O S. Galap. Say it, Rick. It's P O G O S. P O G O S. Yes. All right. So I missed Galapas. Go ahead. <laughs> it's it's Galapagos. Galapagos. That that's La nice. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, they're Not telling fine. you. All right. Anyway, that that class we did. <laughs> All right. So again, today's class will be put on here also. So as you can see, some of them are you know twenty minutes. Some of them are an hour. Some of them are ten hours. You know. So. Um, Again, it's kind of fun when we do these together, guys, uh, because again, you learn and um, uh, we have specialists that are, have either been there or lived there or you know can share exciting stuff. The incentive voucher group, we just did a training on that right here. Um, I'm also doing a training on the 20th. So hopefully you guys can join me for that. How about te um, corporate team building? You wanna learn about the mentoring side? It's right there. You wanna learn about the opportunity? That's right here. And then of course, all our certificate workshops. So um, this is my YouTube channel if you wanna join me on that. All right, did everybody get signed in? I sent the link to register. Very easy to register. If you haven't registered, just go in and register. Very easy. Um, also, if you're new to us, a lot of people will be on their phones um, following along, but doing the test together. All right, you want to do American Samoa. I'll add that on here. Samoa, sorry. American Samoa. Perfect. All right. And you can translate. Perfect. Because again, I don't, I don't, you know, say I'm the best in pronunciations, guys. So um, you'll find out. Uh, so again, what I do is I read, um, we watch videos, we learn about the different destinations, programs, etc. And then, um, and then we take a test. Most of the time, these tests, oopsie, it was just there. Did you just see that? Um, we take the test together, okay? So we make sure that everybody is up to date and catch up to where when we take the test, okay? Again, we don't leave anybody behind. We want to make sure everybody passes that test, gets their certificate, posts it on social media, letting people know, look, I can book this amazing cruise for you now, okay? So, uh, in this lesson, we're going to learn about the group. Um, what is it? Hertegruten? Hertegruten. It's kind of a, yeah, it's German and I've never heard of it, but uh, uh, we got recommended to add it to our list. So here we are today. Uh, the Norwegian Coastal Express, the Expeditions, uh, Greenest Cruise Line, and the Nordic Adventure. Okay, so we've got five lessons we're going to do today. Again, uh, I'll read, we'll go through, watch videos, and then we will take a test. And then hopefully you guys will go ahead and get your certificates. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Again, if you're um, sort of behind, couldn't get here, no worries, Alicia. Um, so again, uh, to sign up, what we're gonna do is go right here to the link. Um, also, like I was talking about earlier, um, all the links are in here on this flyer. And then also Sandy has them all listed like right here. Um, for the entire month. So you guys can get in and get registered. You want to do the Vatican? Be sure to register ahead of time. Charisma, um, Wyndham, okay? Uh, we're doing a Dallas, Fort Worth. So hopefully get in and sign up ahead of time. But if not, some of them, like I said, are really quick. I just registered this morning. So right here is the training copy link address. Now, when you go into this program, okay, there's a, a US flag and a UK flag. We are doing it in the UK training program, okay? So you'll, if you say, I can't find this one, um, click on the flag for, um, for the UK and then you'll be able to find it, okay? And then this is the actual link for the course once you get registered, okay? Again, doesn't take long. Um, what I'm going to do is start reading, going through the information, 
when we get to the test, hopefully everybody will be logged in, ready to take the test. And then again, at the end, you'll print your certificate. You'll get invited on, you know, fam trips a lot. Some people get gifts. I heard that you get a little stuffed teddy bear on this one. So we'll see. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I can't even find the group on Facebook. What's the name of the group? I thought okay. it was managed group. Um, no, it's under it's under the incentive voucher group. OK, but I just put the oh, link okay. in there for you. Um, if you just click this link right here that I put in the chat box so find the chat box, this link right here, click on this, it should take you right into register. OK, um, if you want to join this group, uh, make sure you answer all the questions. But this group is a great program to use, again, to help promote your business, help bring in interaction, help, you know, your clients. Um, hey, you booked a 5,000 cruise with me, Coralie. Thank you so much. Because of that, I'm going to give you another four-night cruise. Taxes and fees apply, okay? So um, That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I saw somebody do that, um, put a post out there. You know, hey, I... Uh, I um, you know, anybody that books a cruise with me earn a new another cruise just by booking with me. And then again, these vouchers are kind of like highly discounted Groupons. They're not free. Again, I will be doing the training on it on the 20th. But right here under guides, you have all the terms and conditions. Somebody today was asking, how do we know about the actual certificate and what's included right here? One to four night Las Vegas stay. You've got a uh, down here air plus um, air plus two nights hotel for two, uh, four night cruise. Again, all the information is right here before you even order the voucher. Okay, guys. But again, we're not going to go into that today. We're going to talk about um, the cruise and uh, my training. Will actually there's a training video here, and then I'll be doing the training on the twentieth. All right, so again, hopefully everybody now knows where we're at. Get registered. Don't leave us, guys, because again, the registration's quick. And just listen for right now until we get to the test. And by that time, you should be registered, okay? All right, so welcome to the Herta Gruten training course. Welcome to our award-winning online training course, which covers everything to do with the Herta Gruten group. Founded in 1893, we offer unique adventures from pole to pole from two separate brands. You have the Huda Gruten Expeditions and the Huda Gruten Norwegian Coastal Express. Each brand offers special something different, and this course will take you through both in more detail to help you pick the right holiday for your clients. Again, I, rec I, I say this on each of mine's. Um, any people outside of like the U.S., they talk about vacations. They call them holidays. OK, we talk about holidays as Thanksgiving, Christmas, et cetera. Um, they talk about holidays as a vacation. OK, so when they say holiday for your clients, they're talking about vacation. So after completing your course, you will be able to answer your clients questions confidently, have a better understanding of the products we offer um, on the expeditions and Coastal Express, be able to make bookings for your clients and earn commission. Um, okay, Stephanie, so, um, and you guys, make sure you put the uh, message to the group because I'll be reading. So we wanna make sure that you guys um, get access to the actual um, you know, answer because if I'm reading, I won't be able to get to you, okay? So again, you go up here to, I'll go to the home page. Let me get back go over here. All right, so you're gonna go here. As you see, the, the UK flag is here. This is where you're gonna sign up, okay? Here you go. And then I'll also put it to everyone. So you're gonna go in here. You're gonna click um, my profile, okay? Or register, okay? Um, because I'm already registered. So I think you can click over here and click register. Okay. Um, once you register, then you can go down and I think um, under cruising, cruise and ferry right here. And then you go down here and it's right here. Okay. So several ways to get to it. And then you're going to launch the course. 
like this. And then you're going to get to where I was just at. Okay, everybody good? Again, if you have two questions, make sure you put the chat to everyone because I have a lot of amazing agents on here that will help you um, if I am reading, okay? <clears throat> All right, so once you complete the course, you'll have rewards waiting for you. Who wants a reward? Um, again, they've given out luggage. They've given out trips, okay? Um, so you never know. That's why I say if you have to drop off for any reason, get back on and finish it on your own, okay? Uh, we will have all the answers on my YouTube channel. So we're proud to be OTT's most popular course for crews in the UK. We hope you find our course useful and informative. If you should have any questions, get in touch by emailing our UK agency sales at Um, uh, dot com. All right, let me get over here and make sure you guys can hear the video. Okay. All right, so let's watch this short video. Okay, can you guys hear anything? I don't, oh, there it is. So online training. So let's go ahead. Oops, get back out of this. All right. <clears throat> so now we'll go back up here and start the course. All right, everybody good? Start the lesson. Newly formed in 2021, the uh, Hutagruten group comprises of three main business areas. In this module, you'll learn what the Hutagruten group has um, on offer for your clients who our main targets are, how you book with us, and you'll also find out about our commission structure. So here's a message from the CEO. Curiosity and wonderlust run deep in all of us. We long to travel, to experience the unexpected, to learn something new, and re to return home renewed. We are all, in fact, explorers. With a proud pioneer heritage stretching back 125 years, heard of Gruten, Again, has anybody heard of these guys? I have not. And it's kind of weird, huh? Has been helping uh, adventure, adventurous travelers to experience the polar edges of the known world for generations. Rooted in our company's DNA is the quest to sail to the pristine areas we are experts on and to keep exploring the frontiers of our planet. Again, guys, I'm, I'm looking in the mirror. I look a uh, hot mess. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe I should put on my little my picture. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. A company steeped in um, oops, I think I may do that. There we go. All right. A company steeped in history. Um, the, the group began back in 1893. Uh, before Huda Gruten was established, the 780-mile coastline from Berg Bergen to Kirkness was a bus route for all sorts of shipping, but services at that time were unreliable, infrequent, and slow. 
1893, Captain Richard Wyss, Wyss, steamer, <laughs> D.S. Vesterlin, was brought into regular service along the coast of Norway, resulting in a regular sea link with several weekly departures. He called this important connection Hutegruten, meaning the fast route. Watch this video to discover the full story of the 129-year history. All right, let's watch it if it's uh, too long. Oh, it's only three minutes, okay. 1893, år null i historia om hurtigruta. Uh, agents Før det seem var det båter, men ingen i fast helårsrute mellom um, nord og sør network. i Norge, så en korrespondanse kunne ta uka og måneder. De store redderiene på den tida så det ikke forsvarlig å seile Nord-Norge på natterstid og på vinteren. Så Vesterhold Dampskipsselskap var det eneste tilbyder da den nye post, gods og passasjerruta var ute på anbud. Før 1893 fantes det ønske, vilje og behov for å få den nye ruta på plass. Men bare en mann med nok visjoner og handlekraft. Richard Witt. Der det ikke var kart, fikk han de tegnet. Der det var mørkt, kom det fyr. Og der det var for grunt, ble det mødre. 2. juli 1893 satt dampskipet Vesterhold kursen fra Trondheim mot Hammerfest. Og her er vi 125 år senere. I 125 år har vi vært i bevegelse. I 125 år har vi vært oppdager. 125 år med dampskip og motorbåter. Ulike selskaper, konstellasjoner og pipemaling. Med lokalpassasjerer, turister og arbeidsfolk. I 125 år har vi seilt under midnattssol på Finnmarkskysten. Vinterstorm over Vestfjorden og av og til som sentrum av begivenheten. 125 år med skråg, propeller, vinsjer og kompass. Kapteiner, styrmenn, postmenn, servitører, resepsjonister, kokker og matroser. 125 år med glede og sorge, minner og opplevelser. Hundre og tjuefem år med historie, men kanskje mest av alt. Hundre og tjuefem år med og for mennesker. All right, so the world leader in exploration travel, Huta Gruten Group, is the world's leading adventure travel group, offering unique small ship and land-based adventures from pole to pole and anywhere in between. We are uniquely placed to take your clients to the most spectacular areas on the planet, offering a mix of pristine wilderness and visits to genuine local communities. Huta Gruten Group is re revolutionizing the travel industry's approach to sustainability, <clears throat> allowing us to offer authentic local experiences while leaving a footprint we are proud of, both in nature and with the communities we visit. <clears throat> our commitment to safety is as absolute as our passion for exploration. Safeguarding our guests, colleagues, partners, wildlife, nature, and communities we visit will always be our number one priority. 
Everyone on Ho Hooten Gruten's adventure will always be and feel safe, comfortable, and excited. All right. Next. So who are Hooten Gruten now? Uh, the group was established in 2021, okay, so it's only a year old, and consists of three main business areas. You have the Expeditions, the world's largest and leading expedition cruise line. With sustainability and exploration at its core, Hoot and Gruten Expeditions offer a small ship exploration of more than 250 destinations across 30 plus countries. You'll learn about the Hoot and Gruten Expeditions in Module 2. Uh, you have the Norwegian Coastal Express, uh, offers a unique combination of local travelers, goods, and international tourists connecting 34 communities along Norway's rugged coastline. You'll learn more about the Hooten Gruten uh, Norwegian Coastal Express in Module 3. And then Svalbard, most experienced tour operator. Uh, Hooten Gruten uh, Svalbard can trace its roots back to the late 1800s, offers year-round land-based adventures next to the North Pole. Uh, Hooten Gruten, uh, so, so sorry guys, Svalbard, uh, Taylor makes packages for groups and individual travelers, combining their comprehensive selection of experiences, accommodations, dining options in Splitsbergen. To find out more about Hurt and Gruten Savalbard, click here. All right. So again, if you're new, guys, a lot of people will follow along on their phone, take the test online, do split screens. Also, you can click here. It'll take you into another program, another flyer, et cetera. And I just wanted to share with you because these are things that people may do to save it in their brochures or their binders, et cetera, okay? So we don't go into all these and stuff. It's just more detail for you to get more information. Like here, romantic vacation, you may wanna pop you know, pop into that and check it out to, to focus on the Northern Lights or a polar night, you know? So again, that's when they have click here, you can go into additional information, okay? All right, who travels with um, Hurton Gruten's expeditions and the Norwegian Coastal. Um, for us, one of the most important things is that our products are sold to the right customer so that they can ensure they enjoy their holiday vacation with us and that we are able to meet their expectations. Your typical Hurt and Gruten uh, customer is not the average cruiser. They will be seeking adventure, education, beautiful environments. Our guests are lovers of nature, drawn to the outdoors and interested in cultures and communities. Hootie. Oops, sorry, hold on. Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, our, our perfect, um, oops. Our guests are lovers of nature, drawn to outdoors, interests in cultures, communities that are different from their own. Our perfect passenger will have the healthy respect for the environment and the love of scenic beauty and nature, natural wonders. They will take an active, rather passive interest in their travel experiences whilst performing to entertain themselves by experiencing new things, meeting new people, as well as enjoying the opportunity to relax on board. Over the next slides, we'll delve deeper into three of our target um, key target audiences to help you identify which of your clients are a good fit for expensive portfolio of products. Next. All right, culture lovers. Culture is a big part of our lives. Our leisure time is usually spent exploring heritage sites, museums, or art galleries. So you have interests here. You have history, antique, fine arts, birds, crafts, and um, art, historic and heritage sites, museum, art galleries, theater, opera, and gardening. Uh, the products, you have index, indexing trips, Huda Gruten Coastal Express, and British Isles Expedition Cruises. You have high indexing experiences. How about the Northern Lights Midnight Concert in the Arctic Cathedral? Wow, that'd be cool. And lectures from experts. Average planning time you have to for booking habits, 9.3 months in advance, I would say. And then um, the average booking or planning time is nine months. Booking is seven months, okay? So try to plan ahead for your customers. Again, you can start for what, in the spring and summer to go visit. All right. 
explorers. I'm fascinated in the natural world and love to travel. It brought, broadens my mind, makes me a better person, as well as observing natural beauty and rare wildlife. I always go out of my way to connect with the locals. Uh, so interest, it doesn't show anything here. All right, so high indexing trips, Antarctic expedition cruises, Northwest Passage expedition cruises. You want experiences? How about bear watching in Alaska? Lectures from experts and bird watching in Iceland. Again, planning about almost 10 months out, booking eight months out. Okay, so just keep that in mind and test questions, guys. Okay. Um, adventures. I'm often tested myself physically or taking on new challenges. A life well lived is all about pushing your boundaries, making new memories. I want my holidays to be adventure packed full of unique experiences. You'll never find me going to the same place twice. All right. Indexing trips and Arctic expedition cruises. Galapagos, Galapagos. Galapagos expedition cruises experiences kayaking between icebergs dress warm uh, camping overnight in antarctica and snorkeling in that place <laughs> average planning time seven months booking time only about six months all right how to book with us okay now that you've learned some of the some more about our group and who our ideal customers are, now you need to know how to book. As an agent, there are a few ways to book with us. You can call over the phone. Our dedicated reservation team is always happy to help you with booking your client's voyage or cruise. If you have any questions about the itineraries we offer, simply call bah, 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 and quote your ABTA number, okay? Via email, our reservation team is always contactable by email. Drop them a line at UK Sales. They'll get back to you as soon as they can. And then you have the agent portal. In 2021, we launched a brand new agent portal, which is a, your one-stop shop for live avail availability and pricing. Access to marketing materials, training, and more. Sign up now via agentportal.hootagrutten.com. If you have any problems registering or accessing your account, please call us and they will be able to email us and they will be able to assist you, okay? So again, remember guys, our vendors are our partners, our suppliers and, um, you know, because we help sell for them. So don't hesitate to call if you need assistance, okay? I always like cruise lines, I just call them. You know, can you help me find the cheapest rate, you know? Um, because sometimes I'm busy and I don't have time to do a lot of research. So I just call and say, can you kind of help me a little? Because that's our job, right? Um, so just keep that in mind. Don't hesitate to call. If you need help, that's what they're there for. All right, what about commission? Commission you will receive on your booking is broken down into ele three elements. A voyage cruise, 0% received, depends on commercial agreement. Okay, not sure what that means. Um, arrival and departure packages, pre and post packages, 10% for all agents. And then pre-booked excursions, 5% for all agents. All right, so zero C depends on the commercial. So I'm assuming um, whatever Archer Travel has worked out with them. Again, you can call them, tell them you work with Archer Travel. What is their commissionable rate? You will see the commission breakdown on the final page of your invoice. If you have questions regarding your commission or would like to check what level you're on, contact them here. Okay, so again, you'll just tell them you're with Archer Travel, give the IATA number, and they will let you know. All right, so here's the agent portal, your one-stop shop for availability, pricing, online booking, access to marketing materials. Again, remember guys, a lot of our vendors will have a marketing tab where you can download free marketing material, okay? Further training and more. A media bank, you're looking for videos and images to help sell our products, this is a place to go. Again, if you're gonna focus on Herta Gruten, you can take those pictures. You can't take these pictures, but sell, um, you know, Carnival, okay? Keep that in mind when you're doing your marketing. The ship and the information has to pertain to that particular um, client or um, 
supplier, okay? All right, uh, this place to go, all you need to do is create an account, then you'll be able to download to your heart's content. Make sure you follow the guidelines for citing original photography source, all right? So sometimes it may say, make sure you, you know, copyright from or whatever. All right, YouTube, you have a YouTube channel right here and here. Facebook, now have a closed user group on Facebook dedicated to our important trade partners. Request to join, receive regular news and updates. Again, a lot of the Facebook pages you have to join, you have to give the um, uh, information, answer questions to be able to move forward and join the group. And then Twitter has some Twitter feeds. Follow both accounts to receive regular news, updates from our team for each brand. All right, test time. You guys ready? Is everybody set up? Ready? Yes, yes. What year was Hurtin Gruten founded? 1893. Yeah. Oops, there you go. Very good. Please select one answer only. Um, what does Hurtin Gruten mean? Fast route, scenic route, straight route, slow route. First one, fast route, route. Very good. All right, which route? Thank you. Which <laughs> oh, three? Okay. They're both. <laughs> which three businesses make up the Hurton Gruten Group? So you have Norway Explorers, you have Expeditions Coastal. I think it's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Expedition it Scandia. Yep. Oh. It's that one. All right. What are the three key target markets for Hurt and Gruten? Uh, relaxers. Yeah, that's true, though. What turn is relaxers, adventures? <laughs> Culture lovers, explorers, and adventurers. That's what I thought. That's correct. All right. How much commission can you earn on pre booked excursions? 5%. No, that's 10. It, it was ten? five. It was five. It was 10 for the, um, I think the hotels pre and post or something. The excursions, I think, was five. All right. What kind of customers would suit a Herta Gruten cruise or voyage? Select all that apply. Um, four possible answers. The environment. Uh, environment. Learn about culture. Wildlife. Wildlife. Wildlife, true meaning of travel experiences. Yeah, I guess so. I don't remember that one. Customers learn about other cultures. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. yep, it That's was it. those four. What was that again? All right, so let's <laughs> go back. That's all right, I got them. Okay. Um, I don't need Christy, Christy needs the answers. So Christy, which ones do you need the answers on? It won't let me go back. So just just call out the answers. We'll tell you the answers. I need the last one. The four. I know it was four answers. I thought it was just one. Yeah, it's four answers. It's um the value the um read them off and I'll tell you. Okay, guys, you, you got to read them off, unmute yourself or put them like, like Christy, you said two, we, we need to know what two or what, what question it is. The environment, culture, that's the last one. Uh, in, uh, what is the, what is the, uh, what does it mean? Let what me read them off the, and then y'all tell me yes or no. Customer yes. who cares about the environment. Yes. 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 Okay, customers who are looking back, looking for black tie dinner no, in the West. No. no. Customers who are interested in wildlife. Yeah. Yes. Customer <laughs> who are looking for a meaningful travel travel experience. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and Christy, what about you? Which one are you waiting on? What's read it off or put it the last one? Meaningful okay. wildlife, um, nature, and culture, and culture. Okay. 
Yeah, you said it was wildlife culture and what else? Meaningful. Meaningful. Yeah. What was the first one? Uh, yeah. Uh, and Why it's don't about care about the environment? Environment. Yeah. You you know what, Curtis? <laughs> All right, uh, Maria. Um, what is the number three? What is the question? Because we can't go back, so I can't see the question. So just read it out, and then we'll tell you the answer. Which three businesses make up the H group? Uh, what three um businesses the parts of it oh um oh what was it what's number three can you what's, read number three that's what she's yeah read the read the answers it was uh read the answers and we'll tell you which one it is there's um uh, norway explorers and valdard expeditions Coastal Express, Svalbard, Expedition, Scandinavia. I think it's a Coastal Express and Svalbard. Yes. Yeah. Expedition, Svalbard, and, and a Coastal Express. Okay, thank you. Did you get it right? Did it go through? Yes, ma'am. Thank okay, you. Okay, perfect. You're welcome. Okay, anybody else? Got it? Okay, so congratulations. You passed your first exam. Now we have four more to go. You guys ready? All right, now we're gonna learn about the Norwegian Coastal Express. Uh, has been taking passengers up and down the Norwegian coast for over 128 years. Maybe a test question. Named by Lonely Planet as the world's most beautiful voyage, the Hurtigruten route is um, iconic. In this module, you'll find out what we can offer your clients on our traditional coastal voyages available all year round. All right, so the fast route. I've uh, been taking guests on the same route along the uh, coastal coast of Norway since 1893, giving us unparalleled know-how and love for these waters. Our classic voyagers offer pure and unfiltered escape to the charming everyday life of Norwegian coast. By sailing our traditional route, guests will experience a genuine piece of living history that has faithfully connected the cities, towns, and villages of coastal Norway for almost 130 years. We are proud to be a unique and iconic part of Norway's coastal culture, loved by um, local Norwegians generation um, after generation. Ours is a legacy that can't be copied. When you ask people what they what to do or see in Norway, they say, see the coast. This is where we come in. All right, you have the Norwegian Coastal Express. The essence of Norway's appeal is remarkably simple. This is one of the most beautiful countries on earth. On a Hurtigruten voyage, your clients won't just observe the coast, but will understand and become a part of the landscape and communities though, um, through which uh, they sail. Your clients will experience majestic fjords, spectacular glaciers, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, charming fishing villages, bursting cities, and the abundance of wildlife as they sail along the mesmerizing coastline with where no two days are the same. Things to be aware of along the Hurtigruten's primary focus is tourism. Our coastal ships remain working ships that continue to deliver posts, passengers, and cargo up and down the coast. There are 34 ports of call, northbound and southbound, with time in port varying from um, as little as 10 minutes to four to five hours. Full schedule here, okay, you can click that, save it for future reference. Um, some stops take place late at night and earn the early morning. Um, early hours of the morning as Hurtigruten operates to a strict schedule, but passenger disturbance is minimal. No other cruise line has ships experience or knowledge to be able to take us as close to the action as we can. 
So here's a 12 day classic voyage um, video. All right, how about the essence? Um, Her to Gruten takes guests beyond the realms of conventional cruising by offering voyages that enable passengers to immerse themselves in the vast cultures, nature, and wildlife. Along the incredible Norwegian coast, we don't want just want guests to visit Norway, we want them to become a part of it. What makes us special? We are the world's greenest cruise line. You'll learn more in module four. Small, intimate ships bring guests um, to unique, hard-to-reach ports, hugging the coastline rather than sailing miles out at sea. We have a dedicated team of onboard coastal experts on hand to enhance guests' experience of the coast by giving educational lectures, leading engaging activities. 
Many of our crew are local to the ports we visit along the coast and have invaluable knowledge that they love to share with guests. On board, there is a relaxed, casual atmosphere. No black tie dinners, West End shows, or formal dress code. On um, our onboard food concept, Norway's Coastal Kitchen, promises that 80% of the ingredients used in our dishes are sourced locally along the coast from a range of small-scale producers, meaning food is as fresh as you can get and sustainable too. Our ships have large lounges, plenty of deck space, most with floor-to-ceiling windows, allowing guests to experience the incredible scenery and points of interest we sail past. There are no compulsory gra gratuities. Our more than 128 years experience makes us the unparalleled experts along the coast of Norway. From the moment guests step on board, they will be treated to active days, relaxing evenings, sublime cuisine, the warm company of like-minded adventurers. So if your clients are looking for an authentic northern um, Norwegian coastal experience, Hootengruten is the only name to trust with several departures. It's impossible to determine the best time to go. Every, every changing season offers something new, unique, and equally as special. The next slides will go into each season in more detail so you can assist your clients with their decisions. All right, another quick video on the Northern Lights. Look at that, beautiful. Oh, Corley, I'd love to do that. I'm packed. So you have twinkling stars, uh, skiing or sledging in the snow, swirling northern lights, knitted jumpers, warming up with a hot mug of coffee and open fires. Welcome to winter in Norway. As the trees finish uh, shedding their leaves in the late October and the days become shorter, winter begins in Norway. The winter season is the most popular for UK guests due to our fascination with the magical northern lights. The excitement of the Aurora Boralis um, is addictive as they witness the vibrant greens and purples dance across the sky, twisting and turning in dramatic ebbs and flows. Our guests will be amazed. All who witness this incredible phenomenon will be transfixed by the awe-inspiring display. By choosing Hudegraden for their Northern Lights adventure, your clients are sure not to be disappointed. So why Hurtengrutten is the best choice for Northern Lights? Northern Lights promise, we offer guests a free six or seven voyage if there is no recorded occurrence of the lights during a 12 
day voyage departure October to March, okay? That's a cool guarantee, right? We sail in the uh, Aurora um, zone, thanks to our famous route that takes guests um, a route route to 22 ports above Arctic Circle. The Aurora will often appear directly above our ships. Our ships are constantly on the move. Whilst we can't control the weather, we will have moved past any cloud cover in a matter of minutes for clear view of the skies, easy access observation decks. Unlike a static viewpoint, we are a floating Northern Lights Observatory, complete with onboard announcements of sighting, ensuring guests don't miss a thing. At sea, away from the light, journeying by sea, we are away from the ambient, artificial light on land, increasing the chances of seeing the aurora in all its glory. Winter in Northern Lights, so October to December, light winter, January to March, polar night in Kirkenes, approximately this, or November through January. The temperatures look pretty cold. Um, specialties, fresh seafood, king crab, lagostin, trout, and cod. Excursions, you have cross-country skiing, snow shoeing, dog sledding, snowmobiling. Spring and Arctic awakening. Okay, so another quick video. So April through May, the brighter days brought by the spring sunshine enliven the northern co uh, Nor Norwegian coast, uh, luring everyone back to the outdoors as they enjoy both the best of both sun and snow. On a voyage in the spring, guests will watch nature reawaken after the long winter. The sun takes in um, its seat in the sky. The snow begins to melt. The land is reclaimed by lush vegetation. Migrating birds return. Flowers go into bloom, sprinkling the coast with color. Spring also causes the biggest difference in climates between Northern and Southern Norway. Whilst the weather might resemble something closer to summer in Bergen, or Bergen, an energetic spring as you uh, travel up the coast through uh, Rovik and the Lofoten Islands, it remains full winter in Kirkenes. And you can even still take part in the winter excursions. Traveling during this period means your clients will experience three seasons of, in one voyage, an adventure that is truly unique to the Norwegian coast and one that is not to be missed. Spring and Arctic awakening, um, March, April, and May. Uh, temperatures very low, 14 down to um, eight degrees. Um, specialties, stockfish, uh, beef stew, spring mashed potatoes, cream cake with fresh berries. Excursions is snowmobiling, dog sledding, hiking, and visiting a farm. All right, summer and midnight sun.
I'll just go ahead and read while it's doing that, okay? Uh, long days and bright nights bring a careful atmosphere to Norway with festivals, bonfires, and leisurely hikes. Seasons peak and midnight sun reigns for 24 hours a day above the Arctic Circle. Perpetual daylight provides a whole new world of 24-7 adventure and exploration. And a, and a scenery you miss in the darker months is lit up by the sun's golden glow. Like a blazing beacon on the horizon, it barely grazes the ocean before it begins to rise again, creating a majestic light quite unlike anything else. In summer, we can also visit um, the Rendeford, which isn't accessible in the winter. So if they want to visit there, just one summer. The deep blue UNESCO protected of the Jord is surrounded by towering snow-topped mountain peaks, rushing waterfalls, and lush vegetation, making it an area of outstanding natural Another bucket list for me. All right, uh, that's through May through July, okay? Um, little warmer. Uh, Norwegian new potato salad, open shrimp sandwich, blueberries, strawberries, cherries, and fresh fish. Excursions is bird watching, hiking, meet the Vikings at the Lafoter Viking Museum. All right, now you have autumn and the autumn gold. So this is in September. Autumn approaches, the days grow shorter, the air crisper, and the colors all together more spectacular. Low skies bring um, bright red, yellow, orange colors, and the views over the mountains are much clearer, free for from the summer haze. Sailing along the coast, guests will witness the color change as summer fades and winter edges Autumn is also harvesting time in Norway, bringing with it richer food and different tastes. Guests will have multiple opportunities to sample this fresh produce on board, like the delicious cloudberries that can be served with jam or dessert. This is also the season where we visit the beautiful Pajora Nord, noted by many as the most beautiful Pajora in the world, located in the heart of the uh, Long with pointed mountain peaks that encircle the bay on both sides. Yummy, hi huh guys. Almost lunchtime here. <laughs> So autumn and autumn gold go September and October, okay? Average daylight um, hours. Okay, sorry, September is 13 hours. So these are daylight hours. Um, the temperature, uh, specialties, reindeer and game meat, fruits, cloudberries, mushrooms, and root vegetables. Excursions are hikes, learn from Sami culture and shamanism. Visit a working marble mine. That'd be interesting. Look how beautiful that picture is. All right, you have the classic voyages, okay? So here's some opportunities for itineraries to share with your client. 12 days, virgin, coconut, and virgin. Signature, signature voyage. If your clients don't want to miss a thing, they should book this 12-day odyssey covering 2,500 nautical miles of stunning coastline along with the scenery en route, en route. It is the sheer variety of sights, sounds, scents, and sur surprises that make this voyage such a delight, plus any ports that are called on early in the morning or late at night northbound are then visited at more sociable, sociable hours as guests travel south. You have the classic uh, voyage north, seven days, Virgin and Kirkinus. For culture connoisseurs, connoisseurs, 
Northbound Journey brings guests um, on a unique northern adventure to explore major coastal cities, remote villages, traveling far beyond the Arctic Circle. Guests will enjoy the ambiance and culture of cities like Bergen, um, Elsun, Trondheim, and Tromsø, all brimming with distinctive charm. Classic Voyage South, Six Days, Kirkenes and Bergen, Nature's Best Landscapes. Starting near the Russian border, guests on a southbound voyage will get an authentic Arctic adventure as they sail through dramatic glacial scenery. Continuing south, guests will see some of the most um, world's most beautiful fjord landscapes, highlight of which are uh, Vesterdalen and Novatin Islands. Okay, so keep track of that. And then the Norway's Northern Lights with direct flights from eight UK airports. So you have 12 days. Um, guests will cover 2,500 nautical miles of Norway's raw coastal beauty. Guests will have the chance to visit all 34 northbound, southbound ports, uh, crossing the Arctic Circle twice, spending seven days in the Ariel zone, giving optimal optimum opportunities to witness the magnificent Northern Lights. For your client's convenience, these packages include direct flights from the following airports on select dates, October through March. Birmingham, Bournemouth, Bristol, Glasgow, Leeds, Bradford, London, Gatwick, Manchester, and Newcastle. All right, classic round voyages with flights from the UK. <clears throat> Flight inclusive classic round voyage, 12 days. Flight it inclusive packages available year round, giving guests full flexibility to travel whenever suits them on a 12 day classic round voyage. Cross the Arctic Circle, hunt the Northern Lights in winter, and enjoy 24 hours of daylight under the midnight sun in summer months. Flights available uh, from a choice of eight UK um, airports. Again, uh, Birmingham, Bristol, Glasgow, Leeds, Bradford, London, Gatwick, London, Heathrow, Manchester, and Newcastle. And then you have special winter tours. All right, Norway is a nutshell, Arctic winter and Northern Lights. 16 days starting in Oslo. The package includes journey on one of the world's most scenic railway trips, the Flam Railway to Bergen via Flam and Voss. Guests will then join our classic round voyage uh, from Bergen to Kirkenes and back under the dancing skies of the Northern Lights. It's you have the astronomy. What is it's it? Bergen. Bergen. Okay, and thank fjord. you. Fjord. Fjord instead of Fjord. Fjord. Okay, thank you. And Bergen? Ber Bergen and Fjord? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, astronomy voyage in search, um, in search of the Northern Lights. All right, so on this special classic round um, voyages, guests will discover more about the magical Northern Lights, the Arctic sky and the solar system with the onboard lectures from renowned astronomers, Ian Ridpath, John Mason, Sadie Jones, and Tom Kers. Kers. This trip includes an exclusive visit to the Northern Lights Planetarium in Tromso with our experts. Following the lights in northbound flight inclusive, uh, Norway's capital guests will ride the world's most famous train, the Flam Railway, uh, before joining our classic Voyage North. On arrival to Kirkenes, uh, guests will head north into Finnish Lapland, where they'll see the night sky from a glass igloo, then discover Finnish, uh, Finnish Lakeland, where they'll stay in a beautiful log accommodation. Not only that, but guests will then visit Helsinki and experience a day trip to medieval Tallinn in Estonia. And then the last one, follow the light southbound, okay? So 14 days begin from Saraselka on the southbound search for the Aurora Borealis, where guests will learn about the local Sami culture with visits to Sita uh, Museum. Husky sledge ride and reindeer safari. From Kirkenes, uh, guests will join our classic uh, voyage south before taking the Flam Railway from uh, Bergen to Oslo, where the journey ends. 
All right, and then the coastal kitchen. Again, you guys hungry? A trip through the world's finest pantry. A voyage along Norway's uh, coastline is more than just an adventure through fantastic nature. It's also a culinary journey. We put great emphasis on procuring locally farmed food, working with uh, local suppliers along the coast to create dishes inspired by the regions we're sailing through with the freshest, tastiest ingredients possible. We'll see if it's just bird. Um, Torget is the main restaurant on our coastal ships where breakfast, lunch, and dinner is included for all guests. Booked on our classic voyages with extensive morning buffets, um, plus monster, plus, sorry, traditional rustic dishes for lunch, and the best of Norwegian farm to table dining with three course dinners and buffets. At uh, Kisten a la carte restaurant, guests can enjoy fine dining and an additional supplement. Here they serve everything from ultra fresh seafood to sustainable cultivated root vegetables uh, and free uh, rain, range reindeer meat, Aww. along with excellent cheeses from small scale producers. For those with a sweet tooth, many Hurtigruten ships also boast a multi, a multi bakery, hope that's right, where guests can indulge in freshly baked cakes and pastries, wide selection of local ice creams, and more. If guests want something savory, then uh, Briga Bistro is the perfect choice for fresh soup, salads, and sandwiches, and more. Uh, Hurtigruten caters to all diets and extensive vegetarian and vegan menus. If your clients are worried about the evening uh, set menu, they can check the menu in the morning and let the restaurant staff know they would prefer an alternative. So again, they work with the customer regarding their food um, uh, preferences. How about step into our office? On every uh, coastal voyage, guests will be joined by um, our coastal experts, local to Norway. These guides will be with the guests during their um, voyage, showing um, them their home and sharing stories. Our coastal experts will immerse guests in Norwegian culture, history, nature, and more by giving onboard lectures, leading optional hikes, spending time with guests on board, dedicated to what they do and to the Norwegian coast. Coastal experts provide an intimate, personal perspective to our voyages. Guests will sense their passion, whether they're busy talking about points of interest out on a deck or animate, animately telling stories over a relaxed drink at an evening gathering. Key selling points now. You have coastal experts have handpicked a selection of optional hikes for guests to enjoy. Each hike is adapted for the season with seven hikes available in the summer and autumn, nine hikes in the winter and spring based on a full 12 day voyage. Coastal experts run a small photography program, which is certified by Canon. This short informal course is designed to give guests tips to capture the coast in all its glory, including how to sh shoot the Northern Lights. Daily program of lectures and presentations to enable guests to gain a greater understanding of the regions they sail through. Evening gatherings with the expedition team to summarize the day, see what's happening tomorrow, including excursion ports, fun facts, and photos of the day. And then you have live points of interest out on the deck, focus on different highlights as we are sailing on deck, coastal kitchen tastings. All right, and then you have optional excursions, whatever interests your clients, they'll find up to 70 seasonal excursions to choose from during their voyage. Our wide range of optional pre-bookable excursions carefully curated to further immerse guests in the culture and countryside of the Norwegian coast. They can choose from fascinating forays into the history of Norway or take it up a notch with more active escapades. Excursions allow passengers to customize their journey the way they want it. Uh, returning with special memories um, that will never fade. Plus, any agent you will um, plus as an agent you will get five percent commission on any pre-booked excursions. See some of the excursions for yourself. So you have the dog sledding here. Ba, 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 ba.
All right, and then we have the Sea Eagle Safari. Next, I think we're up to test. Okay, coastal pricing structure. On our voyages along the coast, we operate three different pricing structures that your client can choose from. Price for each depending on the sailing route and date of departure. Basic uh, being the cheapest and the platinum the most expensive. Select pricing and the most popular choice amongst the clients as they choose their cabin number have a choice of preferred dining table and have access to complimentary tea, coffee, and Wi-Fi. So the lowest price package gives you all this, um, best seller, then adds additional stuff. And then of course the platinum, you get it all, okay? All right, so complimentary Wi-Fi comes with select and platinum. So the basic, you're just getting the set menu, the promise of the lights and the early bird discount, okay? All right, test time. How many ports of call are there along the coast? 34. 34. Very good. Okay. Somebody wants to throw those in there so people can catch it. Uh, what makes up special? Uh, what makes us special? Select all that apply. So we have four here. Okay. So which four are we doing? No formal. Okay. Black tie. Okay. So no formal. Dedicated team yep. Yep. and relaxed. Yep. Yep. Those four. Okay, guys, you got it. No black tie and, and the gratuities is um, not compulsory. Compulsory. All right. What is our Northern Lights promise? That's if they, they get, if there's no recorded um, occurrence, right? Yeah, the six. Yeah, that one, Marnie. Okay. During which season can guests experience three seasons in one voyage? Mm -hmm. Is it spring? I think it's spring. Yep. Yeah. Yay. All right. And during which approximate dates can the midnight sun be experienced in Kirk Kirkness? 17 That's May, 25 July. All right. Yay! All right, guys. Everybody get that? You got it? If it's cold, Matt knows it. Oh, it did? Okay. All right, everybody good? Let's move on to the next one. All right, congratulations. All right, with sustainability and exploration at its core, Huda Gruden Expeditions offers small ship exploration of more than 250 destinations along 30 countries. In this module, you'll discover the destinations we travel to and what clients can expect on a Huda Gruden Expedition cruise. All right, so expedition cruises from pole to pole. With sustainability exploration at our core, Hoot and Gruden Expeditions offer small ship exploration of more than 250 destinations, over 30 country plus countries. Our fleet of eight small size custom built expedition cruise ships, including the world's first hybrid uh, powered cruise ships, and all offer big adventures guided by hand picked experts that make up Hoot and Gruden's expedition team. Although often considered a cold water specialist, Hurt and Gruten expeditions also offer incredible itineraries in warm waters with Galapagos and West Africa being the most recent additions to our ever expanding portfolio. 
See the map below for an overview of the destinations and current travel that they currently travel to. Okay. All right, expeditions with uh, Hurt and Gruten on an expedition cruise. Uh, guests will gaze in awe on spectacular natural landscapes, delight in the many charms of the region, culture, witness rare and exotic wild wildlife. Expedition ships take guests beyond the usual highlights and iconic cities, going further to remote communities and hidden vistas few get to see. No formal attire for dinner, no casinos or cabaret shows either. Focus is active exploration, bringing guests ashore to really discover and immerse themselves in each destination. Our ships serve as comfortable haven at sea, home to exquisite restaurants that serve truly delicious meals. Handpicked expedition team of experts will join guests for their adventure, accompanying them on landings and organizing activities. Passengers can listen to their fascinating lectures in the ship's science center and maybe even engage in a citizen science project of their own. Our expedition itineraries are all weather dependent. As, as expected, nature is in command and itineraries may be changing in route to um, in route in truly uh, true expedition style. All right, all you need is an adventure. So from the moment our guests step on board, we want them to relax, discover new places, learn fascinating facts to help your clients focus and enjoy um, great experiences. We have included the following in their expedition. Complimentary wind and water resistant expedition jacket, a reusable aluminum bottle, loan of boats or boots, trekking poles, and all equipment needed for um, included and optional activities, a rich program of included activities of all voyages designed to immerse our guests in our destinations, including all explorer boat cruising and on shore exploration with the expedition team. A uh, ship beer, wine, and soft drinks included with lunch and dinner, complimentary tea and coffee available at any time, free Wi-Fi for all guests, and gratuities are not expected. At the core of our expedition cruises are a hand-picked team of experts making up our incredible expedition team. Adventurers in their own right, they have wealth of exploration know-how, they ensure our guests can in, um, enjoy exciting, informative experiences safely and sustainably, sustainably. Each team member is deeply committed to sustainability and trained to safeguard our guests, the wildlife, and the fragile habitats we explore. Specialists in a variety of fields, they will discover or deliver engaging lectures and talks on topics such as glaciology, history, biology, archaeology, and more destination-specific themes. Guests can join them in the Science Center for Hands-On Learning and Citizen Science Projects. The multi-talented team will also be busy organizing activities for guests too, covering art workshops, photography tips, yoga classes, meditation, and more. They're also accompanying guests off the shore on landings, um, scouting the area, answering questions, pointing out interesting sites, taking the lead on thrilling hikes. On some expeditions, guests may also be able to try their hand at paddleboarding, snorkeling, or kayaking, led by the team. Our expedition team members come from all over the world, but they all share a passion for travel, a love of our planet, and desire to share their knowledge. Their energy and enthusiasm is inspiring, enhancing the guest experience, taking our expeditions to a whole new level. Uh, they have science on board. A science program has one of goal to increase guest curiosity and knowledge and interest in the areas they are sailing in. Um, our expedition ships serve as a perfect platform for scientific research Hi, with I'm access. Morgan, director of All right, this one to talk, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, understand the region in which tra uh, they travel, become true ambassadors, returning home to champion the protection of our planet's um, most fragile ecosystems. Our service center is the heart of the expedition of our exped expedition ships. Here, guests will get to learn about wildlife, culture, history specific to their crews. It is packed with research equipment, including high-tech microscopes, interactive screens, full-scale models of animal bones, and a library. 
during that expedition. Um, guests will also get the chance to join in with variety, various citizen science projects that contribute to important scientific research taking place across the globe. Perhaps your clients will assist in tracking individual whales throughout the world's oceans with the Happy Whale Project. Or maybe they'll collect and study uh, phytoplankton, don't know what that is, with um, Fjord uh, photo. That's right. All right. Let's go ahead and play Special this. Special operations at Hurtigruten. And I am Verena Meraldi, the chief scientist, and we are both in the Hurtigruten expedition team. Today, we're going to talk all about the Hurtigruten science program. We know a lot of people are wondering about what it is. Verena, would you like to do the introduction? Absolutely. The Hurtigruten science program has one goal, and that is to increase our guests' curiosity, knowledge, and interest of the areas we sail to. We know that most of our guests love to learn about the facets of the destinations we are visiting. That is right. So over the years, we have developed a science program and we have science centers on board all our expedition ships. But there's one thing I have to say first. We know that our guests are not your typical charter tourist. They are modern day explorers. They want to go to remote places of pristine beauty and have authentic experiences of that certain place. Something different and spectacular. Yes, and after almost 20 years of expedition sailings, we know that our guests want to learn as much as possible about the places they will visit. This is why we have developed our science program, step by step, to meet their demands. But participating is totally volunteer. You don't have to join if you don't feel like it. If you'd rather spend the day soaking in the hot tub, watching the view from deck or from the Explorer Lounge, or simply find a quiet place to read a book, you are more than welcome to do exactly that. And I should add that participating is free. This is an extra service we offer our guests. But back to the science programme. Let's start with lectures first. For each destination, we handpick specialists and experts to join our expedition team that fit the places we are going. These are experts on wildlife, culture, history, biology, glaciology, photography, oceanography, environmental science and earth science, to mention a few. These experts invite you to join in-depth lectures presented in a very educational and entertaining way. We call it edutainment. You see, they are not only chosen because of their fields of expertise. They are also great communicators that love to share their knowledge in an understanding and engaging way. They will also accompany you ashore. To give you an example, you are on your way to Antarctica. While we cross the Drake Passage, you can join a lecture about penguins and you are bound to see thousands of them when we sail in Antarctica. So one of our ornithologists, have onboard lectures about these fascinating creatures, how they live, what they eat, biology of these birds, threats, mating rituals, how they sound and all kinds of interesting facts. Then when we come to Antarctica, the ornithologist will join you ashore to visit a penguin colony. Here you will get a first-hand experience and explanation about what you learned earlier during the lecture. It's basically a real-time lecture where you meet the penguins up close. Then, when you're back on board again, we gather in the Science Centre. Here, you'll get the chance to, for example, touch penguin feathers and then investigate them under the microscope to learn how the microstructure of the feathers help penguins keep warm. This principle applies to all our specialised guides. Imagine all the possibilities! We also have underwater drones that allow us to share what happens under the surface of the oceans. A lot of people don't know what the sea flora looks like. And with our equipment, we have the possibility to take samples and investigate the underwater life. As Tudor mentioned, we have science centers on board all of our expedition ships. This is an overview of the science centers on board MS Roald Amundsen and MS Bridge of Nansen. Here you'll find a laboratory that is equipped with state-of-the-art microscopes. There is a wet area for presenting and preparing samples, 
there is also an exhibition area for larger samples. And there is a big lecture hall and an observation deck for guiding outside. Yes, sometimes we have guiding or lectures out on deck as well. There will also be practical educational activities and getting everybody involved in science projects. These are parts of our citizen science projects. Our citizen science projects are collaboration projects with research institutions where you as a guest can contribute to research through sample collecting or counting wildlife. One of these projects is observing seabirds in order to understand how they use the habitat in the Southern Ocean or help NASA understand what clouds look like from Earth with the GLOBE Cloud Observer project. With Happy Whale, we help identify whales and can follow them as they move around the world. We also record leopard seals in Antarctica. We also have two different projects related to plankton to learn more about what effect climate change have on plankton communities. Sailing around in the most remote places in the world on a regular basis, we often have scientists and their gear on board when they are on their way to do research in these remote areas. We think this is a great way to help the research communities of the world. As a guest, you have the chance to meet and learn from these scientists as they conduct their collaborative science sessions on board and on shore on some of our expeditions. This is actually how I started working with Herd Scruton many years ago. We also offer lots of optional excursions on our expeditions and we try to make our daily programs in a way that you can participate in all that happens to get the most out of kind your of cool guys, journey huh? with to us. Be able to offer the so join us and discover the most remote parts of the world Different and participate programs. in interesting activities to gain a greater knowledge of the regions you explore. Hopefully you will become a true ambassador and return home to champion the protection of our planet's most fragile ecosystems. Right. Kind of cool. So on our expeditions, we want our guests to get the most they can out of their adventure. The following included activities are designed to enhance their journey and their knowledge of where they are sailing. So you got the photo and film footage from each crew shared in an expedition logbook in-depth lectures on history, climate change, wildlife, earth science, culture and destination themed um, specific themes. Science programs with the range of educational activities to learn about the environment, casual opportunities to engage with the expedition team, including a welcome event and daily evening gathering to recap and prepare for the day ahead. Destination focused onboard library, live streaming from our 360 degree Pan Panamax camera straight to our cabins, a farewell event at the end of each expedition, wellness and recreation, fitness centers, wellness centers, infinity pools, hot tubs, saunas, outdoor gym and running tracks, facility vary by ship. Plus, if that's not enough, on our expedition cruises, we offer a range of included activity and boasts a total of 300 options excursions, as well as pre and post cruise ex extensions in destinations across five continents. So lots of choices for your clients, guys. All right, food experiences. Uh, Hurt and Gruten Expeditions Cruise is a feast for all senses. Guests can expect mouth-watering meals inspired by the region's flavors, craft mostly from locally sourced ingredients, with the ability to cater to all dietary requirements and a sophisticated plant-based menu. No guests will go hungry. We offer three onboard restaurants on the majority of our expedition ships that serve delicious modern cuisine. Um, Ayun, our main dining room, all meals are included for all guests, not available on MS Nordstungen. Friedhelm, our casual bistro style cafe with international meals available at flexible times included for all guests, not available on MS Nordstrom, uh, the Spitzenbergen or the Fromm. And then Lidstrom, an a la carte fine dining restaurant with, with included meals for sweet guests or available at an additional supplement for other guests. Not available on the Nordstrom or the Spitzbergen. 
Also included in the expedition cruise, you have beverages, ship beer and wine, soft drinks, mineral water are included with meals, complimentary tea and coffee included throughout the day, and early riser afternoon tea in addition to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, the seven Antarctica, the seventh continent. This is the final frozen frontier, an unspoiled, pristine white continent teeming with life at the bottom of the world. Antarctica is our most popular expedition destination. We are the largest, most experienced tour operator in the region. We are founded members of IATO, the International Association of Antarctica Tour Operators. That ensures operators comply with industry standards in place to protect and preserve this amazing continent. Passenger numbers in Ar Antarctica are limited 200 passengers on MS Fram, 500 on uh, Roald Amundsen and um, Fridtjof Nansen. The highlights, 90% of the world's ice is here in the form of massive glaciers, impressive icebergs. Despite sub-zero temperatures, Few places team with so much life, Antarctica is home to huge populations of wildlife, including whales, seals, and more penguin species than anywhere else in the world. Included activities, lecture programs, landings, expedition, boat cruising, science center, photo lectures, polar plunge, optional excursions, hiking, kayaking, sh snowshoeing, and camping. Departures is October to March. Let me see if it plays it. Um, ships is the Amundsen. Hi, um, for sure. I'm caught in stunt. Shortest is 12 days, longest 23, Antarctica, Today, South Georgia. Today, we're going to tell you a bit about the most amazing destination, Antarctica. First of all, I can tell you that going to Antarctica is unlike anything you have ever experienced. This seventh continent is the most remote place on Earth and where nature is in command. That's right, Antarctica is also the coldest, highest and driest continent on the planet. So, what is so fascinating about visiting a place covered with 14 billion square kilometres of ice that is on average 2 kilometres thick? The biggest wow factor for me is experiencing the frozen landscape that is completely isolated. The scenery is totally untouched, so there is an overwhelming presence of endlessness and ice. It's basically a world of ice, icebergs and glaciers. As a contrast to all this ice, you will experience abundant wildlife. Antarctica is the only continent with no significant plant life and no native land mammals, reptiles or amphibians. However, the shoreline serves as nesting ground for countless species of migratory birds, including penguins. 
So the Southern Ocean surrounding Antarctica is home to also many fish and marine mammals. Did it stop? Marnie, are you there? I think your internet froze. Ranging from microscopic plankton to the biggest animal on Earth, the blue whale. All right, guys. It is feeding ground for several other whale species as well fin whales, humpback whales, minke whales, and orcas. <laughs> These are magnificent giants that you may be able to see while on the I just have a, a when we go kayaking, meeting I gotta go to, so uh, I'm gonna have Linda be taken over. Is the penguin. I had to go dressed real quick. The most common species are a deli, finstrap, and gentoo penguins. On ice flows and in the water, you will see several seal species of the Southern Ocean at the appropriate time of season, like crab eater, fur, leopard, Elephant Aww, and Weddell seals. As Karen mentions, there are millions of seabirds breeding along the coast and offshore islands of Antarctica. And from the deck, the chances are good that you will spot albatrosses, snow petrels, cormorants, fulmers, gulls, and skewers, Let's amongst many Ivy others. East. Most importantly, you will see some of the wildlife up close. The penguins in Antarctica is unafraid of human beings because they have very few enemies on land. So it's imperative that guidelines and rules are followed when we go ashore. Tudor and I and the expedition staff will spread out and we will assess the landing site for vulnerability and then we will position ourselves where it is needed to be ready to inform and educate and guide you in wildlife watching without disturbance. We'll also interpret what you see and make sure that you'll have the best possible experience. I can tell you one thing for sure. Going with us to Antarctica is more than just cruising through splendid scenery. We have a genuine focus on sustainability. With our ban on single-use plastic and with our new hybrid ships, we have a low carbon dioxide footprint. That's right, our hybrid powered ships and as a responsible operator. We have been part of creating the guidelines and we take great pride in following them. The main factor is to make sure we leave nothing behind in this pristine and unique area. But Karen, we also increase people's knowledge and make them ambassadors by showing them how fragile these ecosystems are. You see, before we reach Antarctica and while we are there, we endeavour to prepare you with insight to what you see. We have daily lectures with experts in the fields of environmental science, biology, geography, history and oceanography. We have science centres on board with practical educational activities and get everybody involved in science projects. So not only will you gain a Why does it keep stopping? deeper understanding of what you're about to experience while visiting, you'll also have a much more context of Antarctica and everywhere we sail. That is what makes every expedition with Hertegruten truly unique. Well, <laughs> yes, but we are talking about Antarctica here, the biggest bucket list destination and for a good reason. You will be stepping into a world without any human made infrastructure that we normally surround ourselves with. You suddenly find yourself in a place where nature and wildlife in its natural habitat take over all the senses. My first time down there I felt totally small in the mighty and icy world and I still do. One thing I can promise you is that you'll be totally fascinated and have shivers down your spine as we silently glide by an ice landscape, which is also so amazing that I will never find words to do it justice. You just have to be there. I agree. In an adventure like no other, seeing is believing. All right. All right, now, so... Svalbard, the realm of the polar bear. And remember, guys, if you finish this, I think you get a polar bear, a little one in the mail. Uh, Svalbard is one of Europe's 
last great wildernesses beckoning intrepid explorers for centuries on a journey around Svalbard guests will get close to the Arctic wildlife visit ghost towns on the early whaling stations call on remote mining towns and research communities witness spectacular fjords and icebergs um let me see if this talks this is another long one geez these are long ones hi yeah. Oh, it's okay, so let me do this. All right, Hurtengruden is the pioneer of adventure travel in Svalbard and has been exploring its shores since 1896. Today, we use our deep knowledge to show our guests the very best of this national treasure. We are also a founder member of IAPO, the Association of Arctic Expedition Cruise Operators. Uh, which exhibit um, exists to implement strict guidelines to protect and preserve this incredible environment. The highlights are large polar bear population as well as reindeer, walrus, seals, and whales. Dramatic landscape of mountains, glaciers, and fjords. Um, include included activities, lecture program, nature landings, expedition boat cruising, science and art activities, photo lectures, wildlife watching, polar plunge, of optional excursions, hiking and kayaking. Best time to departure May through September. The ships are Spitz version from and Norgenen. <laughs> Uh, shortest uh, length of the cruise is six days up to 12 days. Okay, the itineraries include Oslo, uh, Longyearbyen, um, all these different places. <laughs> okay, <laughs> again, I apologize. I'm not a I'm great Sue with Morgan. pronunciation. We're expedition leaders for Hertigruten. Today, we're going to go to Svalbard, situated at 78 degrees north and forged by ice, wind, and sea. Svalbard offers a spectacular range of adventures and a chance to see wildlife in this natural polar habitat. It is located right on the edge of the ever frozen Arctic Ocean, where the warmer currents of the Gulf Stream meet the cold air and water of the north. Due to this unique location, Spitsbergen and the other islands in the Svalbard archipelago are biological hotspots. Raining, this fragile food web is the top predator. The polar bear. This is where one of Europe's largest remaining areas of pristine landscape awaits you. A true Arctic wilderness where the town of Longyearbyen snuggles down in the middle, surrounded by nature. In this truly exceptional place, the midnight sun shines from early spring till autumn, and winter's northern lights cast a colourful glow across snow-covered mountain peaks and endless tundra. Svalbard occupies a remarkable position, situated halfway between Norway and the North Pole. Wildlife here is extraordinary, adapting to survive in these extreme conditions in the polar winter. The dancing aurora creates nothing less than magic for visitors and residents alike, and they can even be seen in day hours. In summer, the sun never sets, drawing millions of seabirds to the coastal cliffs nearby. There are not many people living up here in the high Arctic. It's said you'll find more polar bears than humans in the Svalbard archipelago. The 2,600 human inhabitants live in the settlement with roots in either coal mining, hunting, trapping or research. Part of the Svalbard experience is visiting diverse and fascinating settlements such as Longyearbyen and the also each of which has a completely different atmosphere. One thing they all have in common is a pioneering experience, places with self-confidence and resilience in their isolation from the mainland. Svalbard is home to animals that are found nowhere else in the world. The polar fox and Svalbard reindeer are the natives joined in summer by the millions of seabirds who migrate to the majestic mountains of Spitsbergen. Glided in midnight sun, Svalbard reindeer dot the valleys while walrus, seals, and maybe you are lucky enough and see whales surfacing and dying. The king of the Arctic, the polar bear, tends to be found on the sea ice and the colder islands to the north and the east of Spitsbergen. The top predator roams in search of the many bearded, harbour, and ringed seals in the nearby waters. Walrus colonies are growing in the area and there have been frequent sightings of beluga and other whale species just off the coast of the archipelago. 
Since Svalbard is polar bear country, this means we need to keep our guests closer and protect them by carrying rifles and signal guns, which we are trained to use. Polar bears appearing on the landing sites does happen once in a while, and we have had controlled evacuations of landing sites a few times as the bear became rather curious and moved towards our landing site. Our aim is to minimize any disturbance to any wildlife. So the choice is easy, we move back on board and the polar bear can get on with business as usual without us in the way. Peter Britain is the most qualified tour operator in this area with more than 120 years of experience. That deep knowledge means we can offer a wide range of options for exploring this amazing wilderness. Join our expedition cruises in the summer or explore on land any time of year. On Hurtigruten Expedition Cruises, our expedition landings will educate you in Arctic wildlife watching without disturbance, ghost towns, research centres, spectacular fjords and icebergs. On land, you can take part in exciting polar adventures in Svalbard's awe-inspiring nature. By foot, by snowmobile, dog sled, kayaking or even on skis. Whatever you choose, you will be in safe hands, with experienced guides leading the way through the impressive scenery with the midnight sun or the polar night as your constant companion. Spend several days out in the wilderness or return to the comfort of town each day. Our expedition cruises are created with sustainability as a priority. Join our fascinating lectures to learn about different subjects. We also invite you to take part in beach cleanups and citizen science projects to gain a deeper understanding of Svalbard's fragile ecosystem. Svalbard is full of wildlife, but there are also historical sites and cultural heritage. You might see whaling stations from the 16th century, remains of blubber ovens, and there's even a graveyard of whalers that died during the first oil gold rush, as they call it. Along the way, you will receive a fascinating insight into heroism of polar explorers from days gone by. Let the stunning Arctic silence overwhelm you in this magnificent landscape. All right, next. So now we have Greenland. Okay, immense and inspiring. On a cruise uh, to Greenland with us, guests will experience awe-inspiring scenery, pristine glaciers, some of the most photogenic wildlife on Earth. 27,000 miles of coastline and fewer than 60,000 residents. Greenland is true, truly one of the most remote and pristine places on the planet from immense glaciers and deep fjords to glittering icebergs and iconic wildlife. Our expedition ships bring guests on an adventure to the world's largest island. Hurtigruten's unmatched Arctic expertise means we can show our guests the beating heart of untamed Greenland. Experience the world's largest island and the largest fjords and the national park on Earth. Increase ice flows, glaciers, icebergs that rival Antarctica, such as the Elucid Ice Fjord. Um, visit warm and hospitable, 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 sorry, Inuit communities and UNESCO Viking sites. Spot wildlife such as musk oxen, arctic foxes, humpback whales, seals, and even a chance of a polar bear. Included activities, lecture program, nature landings, nature walks, expedition boating cruising, science and art activities, photo lectures, wildlife watching, community visits, cultural performances, museum visits, and town walks. Time to visit June through August. The ship is the Nansen and the Fram. 13 days is the shortest, 16 is the longest, and then all these itineraries that they can visit. Go ahead and play this next video. Hi, I'm Tudor Morgan. And I'm Karin Strand. We are expedition leaders for Hurtigruten. Today, we're going to talk about the world's biggest island and a true wilderness, Greenland. Yes, very few places on earth still fit that description but Greenland more than qualifies. This is an adventurous paradise that hosts more than its fair share of thrilling destinations. On the west side of Greenland, you can experience a rugged polar desert in the north, 
Glacial carved fjords, lush green meadows with sheep farms and villages founded by Vikings in the south. On the east side, you can discover the world's biggest fjord system where 1.3 million square miles of loneliness awaits you. And the world's largest national park, a vast wilderness that have less than 500 visitors per year. Here, polar bears might make an appearance and you can set foot where no humans have been for hundreds of years. The total area of Greenland is over 2.1 million square kilometres, with ice covering over 80% of the landmass. The iconic Ilulisat ice fjord is Greenland's biggest natural attraction and one of the northernmost UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This is where you find the most productive glacier in the northern hemisphere. The Sarmak Kujulak glacier produces up to 10% of all the icebergs in Greenland. This massive glacier front feeds a 40 kilometer long fjord packed with sculptural icebergs. It is a chilling natural gallery as well as a story of the planet's history. Although Greenland is not known for its hot pools or anything hot for that matter, there are hundreds of them scattered through the landscape. The most popular is Unatok, hot spring. These natural bathtubs sit in a cozy 37 degrees Celsius, though some get as hot as 60 degrees. In Greenland, hunting and fishing have been a crucial part of life for more than 4,000 years. Throughout the generations, the Inuit people have created and refined unique products, including kayaks, harpoons, bird spears, and high quality clothing made of animal hide and fur. The fact that even compacted snow in the form of an igloo can be used as a temporary shelter demonstrates this culture's extraordinary ability to utilize materials found in nature. The struggle for survival has created a healthy respect for the environment among the locals. And you will witness the unique interaction of man and nature. Traveling with us gives you the opportunity to learn about Greenlandic history and traditions as we take you to the storytellers, the locals. Some of our expedition team members are Greenlandic or have lived here for several years. While visiting small communities and villages, we trade locally and buy services like excursions from local suppliers. This contributes to the livelihood and welfare of these small coastal societies. As a guest, you're offered town packages that includes guided tours, performances and football games with the locals. At some places, our guests are even invited to local homes for a cafe mic. Attending a cafe mic, you will get a special look at Greenlandic life. Step into their homes, enjoy the company and kitchen full of local specialities. This is a unique chance to interact and meet the people that live there and learn more about their culture and traditions. Greenland is also home to some fascinating species of animals that have adapted to the Arctic climate, both on land and in the water. Muskoxen, Arctic foxes, hares, ptarmigans, lemmings and the rare Arctic wolf all part of the terrestrial fauna of Greenland. You can see polar bears in the east and the high north west only. There are several species of whales in the waters around Greenland, especially during the summer months. The Greenland whale, belugas and the unicorn-like narwhal live in Greenland's waters all year around. But you might be lucky and even see baleen whales, tooth whales, humpbacks, minke whales and even the elusive blue whale. Sailing with us, you get the chance to explore discover and participate. Our range of exciting Greenland excursions includes small boat cruising, kayaking, hiking, helicopter tours, sightseeing, cultural and history walks, explorer style nature landings and lectures. We adjust according to the weather and conditions. This means that you will have the optimal experience every day. So join us to explore Greenland. We will take you to places you never imagined you'd see and acquaint you with people you had no idea you'd ever meet. All right. All right, guys, so I need to get going. Um, 
Do you want me to screen share? Yes. So um, I'm going to hand this over to Linda so she can hopefully walk you guys through and finish this course. Um, again, sometimes they're short, sometimes they're long. We don't know. But um, I have to actually drive an hour to visit my um, brother and his wife for lunch. So um, I'm going to hand it over to Linda. So Linda, um, I'll stop sharing. And if you want to take it over, um, I'll keep the recording going. So you screen share. She'll go ahead and start reading and watching the videos. Um, go through the test together, guys. If for any reason something happens, um, we can always uh, go back and redo it. Okay, but hopefully this will work. And um, and I appreciate you guys jumping on. Um, so again, hello, guys. Um, had to change. Get ready. <laughs> so, um, all right. So looks like Linda's getting taken care of here. So again, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, I am going to finish. Um, uh, uh, the, what is it? Canada tomorrow. OK, so tomorrow we're doing Canada. Wednesday, we're doing Tanzania. OK, so hopefully you guys can join us for that. Um, and then Friday, Qatar. And on Saturday, we're doing Charisma, all right? So hopefully join me for those. Again, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, Linda, you got it. You're good. Everybody can see the screen. Let me know. And uh, I'll go yeah, ahead. Let me... Go ahead. I was going to say, let me know if you guys can see. I'm trying to get it to share my screen. Yeah, it looks like I can see you. So um, we were on... Um, were we on Iceland or did we just finish that one? Nope, we were just starting Iceland. You just finished Greenland. Perfect. There you go. Okay, so everybody good? You can see her screen. You can hear her okay? I yeah. hope so. <laughs> yes, perfect. Again, that's what we do. We Sorry, cooperate. Mother. We help each other. Okay, guys, so... Again, I appreciate you, Linda. Linda is actually, I'm in Nebraska for three months in an RV, and Linda is actually staying in my house watching my fur babies and my 21-year-old daughter. So thank you, Linda. She's amazing. Um, again, you know, business partners, friends. So again, I love you. Thank you for everything. I hope to be back to Vegas next month, um, please. But uh you know, we got to see what happens here. So we're opening up a business here and um, it's just been kind of stressful. <laughs> see my gray hair? No. All right, guys. So have an amazing day, guys. Um, love you uh, again. Uh, we're in business for ourselves, but not by ourselves. Um, thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you guys uh, tomorrow for Canada. If not on uh, Wednesday, we're doing Tanzania. Okay. So bye. Thank you, Linda. Take care. Please. Take over. I'll stop my videos. All right. Thanks, Marnie. Oh, she's off on to her next adventure. So I'll, I'll do the best I can to, you know, step up into Marnie's place. I know I'm not quite Marnie and I'm going to butcher things, but, uh, you know, I'll do the best. So let's see here now. The next one that we were on here was the Iceland. It's a geological wonderland. It's offering a landscape forged by fire and ice. Iceland consists of soaring volcanoes, geysers, peaceful fjords, and spectacular waterfalls. This majestic island brims with contradictions and remains mostly unspoiled as the island is scarcely populated. Herta Gruten's extensive experience in Arctic waters allows us to show our guests Iceland on expeditions to the far north. The drama, history, wildlife, and rugged scenery, oops, see a coastline, sorry, my screen's, let's see if I can get that bigger for you. Come on, thank you. There we go. Sorry when it's cutting off the page. And, and rugged scenery makes Iceland a truly memorable destination with many hidden secrets. Highlights. Dynamic mix of geology creates a varied and dramatic landscapes. 350 bird species of the island and many whale watching opportunities. Expeditions available directly from Liverpool 
for full and half circumnavigations. Included activities, lecture program, landings, wildlife watching, science and art activities, M visits, town walks, optional excursions, kayaking, hiking, hot springs, lava caves, natural thermal baths. Its departures are from May through August. The ship is the MS Fridwolf Nassin and the MS Fram. The length is the shortest is long, long, excuse me, nine days. Longest is 15 days. The itineraries include Rejevec, Skiskavahom, Akiria, Grise, Bakadiri, Haimene, Liverpool, and Stone Away. All right, let's see if the video plays for you guys. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Turn up. Hi, I'm Judith Heinrich. And I'm Tudor Morgan. We are expedition leaders at Hurtigruten. Sorry, Today, we are taking a look loud. at the mystical saga island, Iceland. But before we really start, I think a short geo scientific don't presentation. Don't have to watch is the video. Don't you agree, Judith? Tells us Absolutely. About well, everything. hundred million years ago, the world was consistent. Sorry, how does land on top of them that moves very, very slowly. Each other. And on situated right on top of the two of them, where the Eurasian and And this makes geology of Iceland pretty unique. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And dramatic contrasts. Explore the surface of a glacier, sail into deep fjords, take a walk on a surreal lava field or a black sand beach, get close to a volcano, admire some of the world's most stunning waterfalls, and gaze at glaciers or soak into a hot spring. Yes, no wonder sci-fi films choose Iceland as their otherworldly location. Active volcanoes, dramatic geysers, shooting superheated steam into the air, and the shifting, massive ice walls are the largest remaining glaciers in Europe. Iceland's nature is a living gallery of the creative powers of the four elements. Vast expanses of unspoiled nature sweep right up to the doorstep of small, highly modern communities such as Reykjavik, the world's northernmost capital city. The Saga Island has been shaped by isolation and the mighty forces of nature that surround the people living here. The awesome scenery is brought to life by the fiery saga tales that are ripe with magic, elves and trolls. And even today, almost half the Icelandic population believe in Hildefort, hidden folk or elves. In fact, local belief is so strong that construction projects have been halted so as not to disturb these mystical creatures. Many families keep charming elf houses in their gardens, and Icelanders know their saga tales well, and they consider them as an important part of their proud Norse heritage. On the wildlife side, minke and humpback whales feed and breed off the Icelandic coast, joined by porpoise, dolphin, and sometimes spectacular blue whales and orcas. On land, Reindeer roam on eastern Iceland, watched by the native Arctic fox. The famed Icelandic horses and sheep imported by the Vikings some 1,000 years ago graze throughout the island. Bird watchers are well aware of the spectacular richness on offer here as well. One great example is when you visit the Latravia cliffs in the West Fjords. Even if only a dozen different species nest here, you literally see millions of puffins and razor bills, meaning the sky is just thick with avian life. Many of the 350 Icelandic bird species can be seen on or close to the dramatic bird cliffs of the island, like Arctic terns, great skewers, the great northern diver, harlequin duck, Barrow's golden eye, fulmers and brunix guillemot. You may also see common snipe, ptarmigan, golden plover, snowy owls, white-tailed eagles, gry falcons and wimbrels. The raven has always had a special meaning to the Icelandic people. According to the Norse mythology, 
They served as Odin's messengers, bringing him news from all over the world. One of the first settlers on the island was called Dafnavlo, and Dafna meaning raven. So he sent his three ravens to guide him ashore to his new land. And today there are 2,500 nesting raven pairs in Iceland. Even though Iceland doesn't always have sunny and warm weather, the black sand beaches, settlements, basalt caves, great meadows dotted with flowers, mountains of different shapes, volcanoes, glaciers, waterfalls and fjords create an eerie beauty unlike anywhere else. Experiencing the serenity of this faraway corner of the world is a reward well worth the journey. And the locals are very welcoming and you'll get several chances to meet them. Exploring Iceland from a ship is a great way to experience this island because you really get to see the diversity. And if you have visited Iceland before on land, then seeing it from the seaside is a totally different experience. First of all, you get a better overview of the different geology. That in itself is absolutely unique. Then when you go on an expedition with us, we'll take you on our small expedition boats to go ashore on places that you can't reach from land and we go to stunning fjords. We also visit places that are reachable from land, like small villages, cities, and places of extreme natural beauty. Our expedition team really know Iceland. Some are even natives. Join fascinating lectures about Iceland's geology, culture, sagas, traditions, wildlife, and much, much more. Take part in on-deck guiding and wildlife watching, activities in the Science Centre and our Citizen Science Programme, where you can contribute to science and scientists. To get the ultimate Iceland experience, you can join several included and optional excursions every day, like hiking over a lava field or to places of the beaten track. Visit hot springs and nature baths where you can take a dip, enjoy town walks, sightseeing to highlights, bird watching tours and horseback riding. Or how about a glacier lagoon cruising, history tours, whale watching safaris, walks with locals and food tastings, Iceland offers endless possibilities. So join us and discover this mythical island of fire and ice. It's the perfect place for explorers looking for the unexpected. All right, let's see what's next. <clears throat> Norway, welcome to our home. Norway's wild and dramatic coastline is made for expedition style adventure Sailing here for almost 130 years were the experts showing our guests both its highlights and hidden gems. Home to iconic fjords, Norway is one of the world's most beautiful destinations. Only Hurtigruten takes guests as deep into the remote wildlife rich areas to explore places other cruise lines aren't able to. There is so much to see along the longest coastline in Europe. Everything from charming villages to towering mountains, from Lofoten's famed beauty to nameless islands in idyllic bays. Our Norway expedition cruises bring guests closer to the treasures of one of the most stunning regions on earth, showcasing the very best locations along the coast, stopping at fewer ports for longer periods of time, highlights. Guests can enjoy, excuse me, guests can join an expedition cruise directly from Dover and sail into the Arctic Circle as far as Lofoten Islands, Tromso, North Cape, or even Salvbard and back. Experience known highlights with hidden pearls. Northern Lights Promise applies to departures between October and March. Delicious local food served on board inspired by the different regions of Norway we sail through. Included activities, lecture program, hiking program, scientific, excuse me, science activities, photo lectures, paddle boarding, kayaking, UNESCO sites, settlement landings, town walks, Arctic plunge. Optional excursion, winter sports activities, dog sledding, snowmobiling, snowshoeing, etc. The departures are from May through February, the ship is the MS Mod. The length shortest is 11 days. The longest is 22 days. The itineraries include Bergen, 
Haron Ford, Onizvag, Rhein, Svenja, Christensen, Slovar, Stratvanger, Gernsvord, <laughs> Osland, and Amsterdam. All right. Shall we watch this other video, or do you want me to just kind of keep reading? What do you guys think? I'd keep reading. The videos just seem to be reinforcing what we're reading. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. They're getting a little long, too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I agree. I'm going to. All right. <clears throat> all right. Europe, Atlantic Coast, and Southern Scandinavia. Our European expedition cruises explore the continent's treasure trove of coastal highways, historic ports, and breathtaking waterways. With so many diverse countries along Europe's coastlines, there's a wealth of culture, history, and nature to discover. Sailing to smaller ports and secluded natural wonders, Hertegruten shows guests the hidden delights of lesser visited ports of Europe, full of opportunities for great hikes and a chance to enjoy authentic culinary riches. <clears throat> Excuse me. The highlights, you discover Southern Scandinavia on no fly cruises from Dover, explore five countries in one cruise with stops in Germany, the Netherlands, France, Spain, and Portugal, experience epic expeditions to Madeira and the Canary Islands, discovering treasures from laurel forests and idyllic palm covered valleys to sandy beaches and turquoise waters. Ports are a mixture of large cities and small towns, giving guests a broader perspective. Included activities, lecture program, science and art activities, photo lectures, cultural visits, town walks, nature walks, wildlife watching, and cultural performances. Optional excursions, kayaking, hiking, wine tasting, photo uh, photography program. And this is through April, through March. It's on the ships, the MS Maud, the MS Fjordtoff Nansen, Nansen, excuse me, the MS Spitzenbergen. The length is shortest 11 days, the longest is 15 days. The itineraries include the Kiel Canal, Skagen, Oslo, Rosendal, Lesfjord, Lipsen, Porto, San Sebastian, Bordo, Il DX. X, St. Malo, Hamburg, Amsterdam, Funchal, Santa Cruz de la Palma, Santa Cruz de la Terranefe, Las Palmas de Grande Canadiria, and Dakar. All right, let's see what's next here. Sure is pretty over there. Definitely want to go check that out. Come on. All right, the British Isles, timeless beauty. From the chalk-covered cliffs of Dover to Scotland's windswept wind Shetland Islands, there's a wealth of culture, nature, and history to be on Earth. Our expedition ships allow guests to really explore the coastline and the Isles of Great Britain. Dropping anchor a little visited natural harbors and beaches, or pulling up alongside historic Welsh ports and Irish cities. The highlights, guests get closer to the action with shore landings, guided walks, and natural treks along the sandy shorelines and coastal footpaths, as well as, a, as, well as on rocky islands and around remote locks. Explore iconic cities such as Liverpool, Portsmouth, Glasgow, Water, Waterford, and Belfast. The seas and coasts around the British Isles are rich with wildlife, including everything from humpback whales and basking sharks to dolphins and seals, plus islands including St. Kilda and the uh, Tresenish Isles are home to immense colonies of seabirds, including Atlantic puffins, razorbills, and northern gannets. Included activities, wildlife watching, lecture program, nature landing, science and art activities, photo lectures, beach cleanups, sightseeing by bus and town walks. 
Their departures here are April through September. The ships are the MS Maud, the MS Spitzenbergen, the MS Fjortov Nansen. Its uh, shortest length is four days and the longest is 15. These itineraries would include Dover, Fishguard, Rathlin Island, Isle of, Isle of Iona, St. Kilda, Stornoway, Islay, Douglas, Waterfold, Waterford, Isles of Sicily, Dartmouth, Fort William, Fowey, Liverpool, and Glasgow. All right, let's see what's next. I cover all the best way up there. It's really cool. So this is West Africa and Cape Verde, the oceanatic inspiration. New for 2022, these expedition cruises explore the unique history and vibrant culture of isolated Cape Verde, alongside the remarkable biodiversity of the tropical Visigos Islands. These two remote and unspoiled archipelagos are far from the beat, far, yeah, are far from the beaten track. From volcanic, from rocky volcanic promontories teeming with endemic bird life in Cape Verde to saltwater lagoons and mangrove swamps in Bisago's Orango National Park. Our small expedition boats make these landings accessible, combining unique cultures and rare wildlife in one constantly fascinating journey. Highlights, guests will discover hippo pools, tropical forests, bird havens, sand dunes, active volcanoes, traditional communities, and vibrant cities. Search for wildlife by foot on safaris, explore by water with small expedition boats, and learn about these interesting destinations from our knowledgeable expedition team. Included activities, lecture program, nature landings, expedition boat cruising, photo lectures, science activities, wildlife watching, community visits, and a cultural tour. Optional excursions is kayaking. The departures for these guys are November through January. The ship is the MS Spitzenbergen. The shortest is 13 days and the longest is 17 days. The itineraries would include Dakar, Priya, Sao Felipe, Porto Nuevo, Sol Rey, Visigos Islands, Banjul, Las Palmas de la Grande Canaria. Sorry, guys. All right. So that was West Africa. Now up to Alaska, the USA's last frontier. About halfway done here, guys. Alaska is a destination for true explorers with immersed glaciers, deep fjords, and vast stretches of wilderness. Its scenery never its scenery alone never fails to impress visitors. The waters of Alaska are teeming with wildlife. Guests might spot whales, porpoises, dolphins, or even large colonies of sea lions. On land, guests are all in with the chance of witnessing moose, caribou, and brown bears fishing for salmon in the rivers. The highlights. Call on lesser visited ports away from the traditional tourist traps. You visit colorful historic towns and indigenous communities to learn the fascinating traditions of life along the inside passage and Gulf of Alaska. Included activities, it's lecture program, nature landings, expedition boat cruising, science and art activities, photo lectures, wildlife watching, community visits, town walks, and cultural experiences. The optional excursions would be kayaking, hiking, wildlife safaris, fishing, UNESCO World Heritage Site visits, and national parks. The departures are May through August. The ship is the MS Roland Edmondson and the MS Freitoff Nansen. Length uh, shortest is 14 days and the longest is 19 days. Included is uh, itineraries, Vancouver, the Misty Fjords, Wrangell, Tracy slash Endicott Arm Fjords, the Petersburg, Haynes, William Henry Bay, Sitka, Icy Bay, Cordova, College Fjord, Anchor, Anchorage, no, Anchor, yeah, 
Seaward, Inside Passage, Nome, Uunga Village, Kodiak, and St. Matthew Islands. All right, let's see what's after Alaska. Come on. Sorry. I'm on screen. There we go. Ooh, Northwest Passage in the wake of the great explorers. Our Northwest Passage cruises are epic expeditions for most adventurous of explorers, spanning almost 1,700 nautical miles from Canada's Baffin Island to the east to Alaska's Beaufort Sea in the west. Traversing this isolated and wild sea route is an experience like no other. These expedition cruises through the fabled passage give guests the chance to explore an untouched region, home to an abundance of wildlife. With our state-of-the-art cruise ships and experienced onboard expedition team, we'll be attempting our sailings here in the same bold spirit as bygone explorers. The highlights, in true expedition style, Mother Nature is in charge with multiple plans in place to ensure a complete crossing. Guests will experience a truly unique expedition as our experienced crew navigate these tricky waters. There will be many opportunities to see polar bears, caribou, musk oxen, seals, beluga whales, and narwhals. Included activities are the lecture program, nature landings, expedition boat cruising, science and art activities, photo lectures, wildlife watching, community visits, and cultural performance. The departures are in August only. The ships are the MS Rolad, Rolad Edmondson, the MS Fitchhoff, the Nansen, which is the full crossing, and the MS Fran, which is only a half crossing. The length for a full crossing is 26 to seven days and a half crossing is only 19 to 20 days. The itinerary schedule includes Vancouver, Nome, Labrador Sea, Illisat, Sisamut, Red Bay, Cornerbrook, Halifax, Rejivak, Prince Christian Sound Region, Vanford, Cambridge Bay, and Edmund and Baffin Bay. That sounds pretty cool up there. <clears throat> All right, North America, East Coast or West Coast vibes. Colorful coastal cities, charming towns, and jaw dropping national parks. A Hurt to Girton North American Expedition Cruise has it all. Guests can choose to sail along the Pacific Coast from California's San Diego all the way to Vancouver. A list cities with laid back cool are present alongside unspoiled forests and animals that put the vibe into the wild west. Or they may prefer the Atlantic coast from Halifax, Nova Scotia, to bustling and historic Boston. They'll visit small towns that give Maine and Massachusetts their soul, admire local art, and chow down on fantastic food. Highlights. The route chosen, chosen will determine what wildlife to look out for but the range of fauna found on both coasts is impressive. Guests may encounter whales, deer, mountain goats, cougars, black bears, and even the imperial polar bear. Hundreds of bird species also call these areas home. Explore magnificent coastal scenery and experience exciting cities like San Diego, Santa Barbara, Boston, Halifax, and Vancouver. Included activities are the lecture program, the nature landings, science and art activities, photo lectures, bird watching, sightseeing, national park visits, and community visits. Optional excursions are kayaking, hiking, food, and wine tasting. The departures are May and September. You go on the ship, the MS Rolad Edmondson and the MS Fiatso Nansen. The shortest is nine days, and then the longest is going to be 13 days in length. The itineraries include San Diego, Santa Barbara, Redwood National Park, San Juan Archipelago, Olympic National Park, Vancouver, Halifax, Sable Island, Lunenburg, Eastport, Bar Harbor, Provincetown, Boston, Razivac, Skvolden, Prince Christian Sound, 
and Northern Labrador and Makovic. Makovic, yeah. All right. Sorry, guys, I'm bad at correcting myself. <laughs> Come on, keep up with me. All right. Next is going to be the Caribbean and Central America, Paradise Found. It's no coincidence why most people people's idea of paradise is based on the tropical land and seascapes of Central America and the Caribbean. Closed canopy forests, towering volcanoes, azure skies, and turquoise wa blue waters teeming with colorful marine life are just some of the sights that await our guests. We'll take our guests to authentic Central America coastal communities from vibrant Cosmopolitan cities to isolated villages nestled in a gorgeous pocket of rainforest. They'll visit sleepy fishing towns with sand, white sandy beaches, ancient Mayan ruins, and national parks home to some of the most exotic wildlife on the planet. Highlights. The Caribbean and Central America are a haven for exotic wildlife, including iguanas, dolphins, whales, sloths, monkeys, turtles, manta rays, and toucans. The dense trees and vegetation of Costa Rica's forests alone are home to approximately 5% of the world's biodiversity. Discover culinary delights as delicious as they are diverse. Experience the dramatic sights and sounds of these regions are famous for with pristine beaches, lagoons, atolls, reefs, bird watching, yoga, and meditation sessions, cultural sightseeing tours, beach cleanups, cultural shows, optional excursions <clears throat> are snorkeling, kayaking, stand up paddle boarding, cooking classes, tour volcanoes by coach or scenic bays by catamaran, and cultural performances. The departures are April and September. The ships are the MS Rolad Abidson and the MS Fran and the MS Fertroff Nansen. The length of the shortest is 10 days, the longest is 17. The itineraries are San Juan, Puerto Reynas, Puerto Corinto, Jacintala, Otacula. Porto Hulo, uh, sorry guys, Porto Vallarta, San, Cabo San Lucas, San Diego, Miami, Belize, Lighthouse Reef, Isla de Providencia, Corn Islands, Bocas del Toro, and Colón. Oh, Caribbean sounds so pretty. South America, Wonders of the World. Few places on earth provide the rich diversity of South America. It's full to the brim with ancient history, colorful culture, and exotic wildlife. On a Hertegruten expedition cruise, guests will visit the archaeological treasures of great ancient civilizations, most notably the Inca. They'll discover incredible biodiversity in the rainforests, mangroves, and coastal plains. Guests can relax on idyllic beaches and experience the fascinating melting culture, melting pot of cultures that influence its vibrant towns and cities. Highlights. Guests can choose from a wide range of itineraries that take them to destinations in Chile, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Panama, and Peru. Several South American itineraries also allow guests to pick one of these iconic highlands highlights, the lost city of Machu Picchu, and the unique wildlife of the Galapagos Islands, the cultures of Lake Titicaca, or the marvel of modern engineering that is the Panama Canal. Included activities, expedition boat cruising, lecture program, yoga and meditation, bird watching, community visits, science and art activities. The optional excursions would be kayaking, hiking, tour of the temples of Chan Chan, explore Torres de Payne National Park, visit to a banana plantation. 
The departures are April, September, and October. The ships are the MS Rolad, Edmondson, the MS Fritoff, Nansen, the MS Fram. The length is going to be shortest is 11 days, the longest is 18 days. And the itineraries include Costa Rica, Panama, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and the Chilean fjords. Get my screen to cooperate. Come on, guys. Sorry, it's my little iPad. All right, the Galapagos Island, excuse me, islands, nature's greatest showcase. Sometimes called a living laboratory, guests will, the remote Galapagos, Galapagos Island are a unique example of pristine nature, giving us an insight into the very process, processes of life on earth. On a Hurt, Hurt and Expeditions cruise, guests will amble alongside giant tortoises, rub shoulders with marine iguanas, exploring the islands that changed our understanding of the natural world. Our journeys to these astonishing volcanic islands follow in Darwin's footsteps, bringing our guests closer to the animals and sites that inspired him. Highlights, look for the Big 15, the 15 most iconic animal and bird species of the Galapagos include giant tortoises, marine iguanas, Galapagos albatross, blue-footed boobies, and others. Visit a variety of islands and ecosystems from the white sandy beaches of Santa Fe to the lush highlights of Santa Cruz where the giant tortoises thrive. Sail on the MS Santa Cruz II, a refurbished expedition ship that is brand new to the Hurtigruten expedition fleet. It included activities, lectures and talks, landings, guided hikes, nature walks, snorkeling, kayaking, SUP boarding, which is the stand-up boarding, wildlife watching, glass bottom boat cruising, and then you can visit the conservation and research centers. The departures are year round. The ships are the MS Santa Cruz II, the MS Fran, the MS Roland Edmondson, and the MS Fritwoff Nansen. The length, the shortest is 11 days and the longest is 15 days. And the itineraries on this include the Quinto, Galapagos, San Cristobal Island, Santa Fe Island, South Plaza Island, Española Island, North Seymour, Baltra Island, Guayaquil, Lima, Cusco, and Machu Picchu. Oops, sorry. Come on. All right, we got a few questions here, guys. What is included in a Hurtigruten expedition cruise? All of the above? One star free. Yep, looks like it's all. Okay. All right. What is the maximum number of passengers we take on our expedition ships to Antarctica? 500. 500. Perfect, 500. On cruises to which destinations might guests encounter polar bears? Got the British Antarctica. Isles. Go ahead. Antarctica. The Antarctica, Iceland, it's and the, the second North one. Coast. No, polar bears would be it's the North. second one. Valborg, Greenland. North yeah, West the West. second one. Yeah. Svalbard, Greenland, and Northwest Passage? Yep. Okay. Yeah. How long is the itinerary for our, our attempt to cross the full Northwest Passage? Was it the 26 to 27 days? Yes. I think that's the only thing that I remembered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's how you answer these. Exactly. On which ship can guests explore Norway directly from Dover? Oh my gosh, it's in my notes. Uh, the last one? The last one, the mod? Yeah, the mod. Okay. 
Yep. Ding, 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 ding. Did everybody pass? We've only done three. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant this last quiz here, at least. Yes, I, I know. We've only done three. We still have two more left. Now, it's oh. up to you guys if you want to continue and finish, or we can let Marnie know that this is where we got, and then we can have her like add it back on to the end of one of her other trainings on a Saturday or Sunday. It's up to you guys. But you yeah, we've already, I've already completed the next one, so I'm working on the fifth one. You're so. all the time. Okay, I don't blame you. So we can we do should... it on our own, I think. I think. So if you want to work through it, I'll, I'll stay on with you. Okay. okay. Anybody else? That'll be fine. Yeah, I don't mind having everybody stay on with me because I'm, yeah, you, I, you can see my memory's not really the best. <laughs> I can hang out a little while longer. Okay, well, let's see what we can do and try and maybe get this last one done at least, the next one. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll try and read faster and not crack myself so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. All right. So the lesson overview. In today's world, it's essential that travel companies consider the impact they are having on the environment and the communities they travel to. This module will explain the ways in which Hertogurten Expeditions and Hertogurten Norwegian Coastal Express are working towards a new greener future for expedition cruising and adventure travel. Taking sustainability seriously. Exploring this blue planet of ours is more than a century has taught us the importance of being green. Herta Gruten has been sailing to polar regions for nearly 130 years. Over the decades, our captains and ex expedition teams and returning guests have witnessed the impact of climate change on these vulnerable areas with our very eyes. If we want the Arctic, Antarctic, and everywhere in between to remain places of pristine nature pure water, and clean air, we know that all of us have a big job to do. It's a job we realize is of paramount importance, especially for the future of our children and grandchildren. That's why we've committed to the UN Sustainable, Sustainable Development Goals, putting them in the heart of who we are and what we do. They are our guiding principles, taking us steps ahead of current regulations to offer our guests greener and more sustainable expedition cruises on and for the planet. As the world's greenest cruise line, Hertgruten aims to raise and set standards for the whole industry to follow. As we enter a new era of expedition cruising and adventure travel, one that is driven by sustainability. A footprint we are proud of. It's no secret that we are part of a very polluting industry that is a huge contributor to greenhouse gases. Daily emissions from one single mega cruise can be equivalent to 13,000 diesel cars. At Hertfordgurten Expeditions and Hertfordgurten Norwegian Coastal Express, we spent the past several years drastically changing how we operate and meet the changes of climate change. Below is a list of some of the ways we're going greener, faster, and leading the way in our industry. We were the first to initiate a fleet-wide ban on non-essential single-use plastics back in 2018. We invest heavily in green technology like hybrid power and biofuels from food waste. We launched the world's first hydro-powered expedition ships and planned for more. We stopped using heavy fuel oil decades ago and still campaigned towards a worldwide ban. We support stricter visitor regulations in the de delicate destinations we explore. We offer full menus of healthy and delicious plant-based cuisines on board. We inspire guests on every voy um, we inspire guests on every one of our cruises to be environmental ambassadors by teaching them more about the destinations they visit and the dangers posed by climate change. We collaborate with international scientific institutes to collect and share vital research data. On the Norwegian coast, 80% of food and drink served comes from local suppliers, allowing us to support local communities and keep the emissions to a minimum. We support local communities by choosing to trade with small scale suppliers. 
We engage in voluntary beach cleanups in many of the areas we go ashore at and at home in the UK. We are the founding members of IAATO, International Association of Arctic Tour Operators, and AECO, Association of Arctic Expedition Cruise Operators, which work to protect polar regions. We have established the Herta Gerton Foundation to fund a variety of eco projects. We have an onboard green stay program where a donation is made to the Herta Gerton Foundation for every night a guest opts not to have their room cleaned. Locally, Herta Gerton UK is one of TTG's Sustainable Travel Heroes, an initiative designed to help the travel trade sell more responsible holidays. Find out more here. So that would be where if you want to click that link. We're proud of the progress we've made so far in the Ranger areas, but rest assured we're not stopping there. This is just a start and there are many more exciting initiatives to come. So watch this space. The next generation of expedition ships. Those are pretty cool looking ships. On the Herta Gruten Group, our ultimate goal is to operate emission free. We are leading the way to we are leading the way by introducing new technology, both by building new hybrid powered expedition ships and by converting our current fleet to enable the use of hybrid power and biofuel. We are proud to have built the world's first hydropowered expedition ships, MS Rolad Edmondson and the MS Fjertroff Nansen, taking guests to some of the world's most valuable areas, vulnerable. These vessels carry, both carry up to 530 guests, test question, and are equipped with state-of-the-art technology that reduces CO2 emissions by 20%. Newly renamed and refurbished expedition ship, MS Otto Sverdrup also comes equipped with battery packs and other green technology, meaning me already, we already have a thir third hydropowered ship in our fleet. In 2023, MS Mod will undergo a similar transformation. More recently, we have kicked off one of Europe's biggest environmental ship upgrades to seven of our Norwegian coastal fleet, the MS Richard With the MS Kong Herald and the MS Nordlis will be converted to hydropower with brand new main engines and battery packs. MS Nord Nord and MS Nord Cop and MS Polaris will also be upgraded and have SCR facilities installed on board. This will reduce the NOx emissions and by a, a mass of 80%. The last ship in our coastal fleet, the MS Vesterlan, has already upgraded with brand new engines and SCR facilities back in 2019. With new technology constantly being developed, our focus will always be on how our fleet can be greener and more sustainable. And we will continue to invest in green technology that enables our vessels to be the most sustainable in the world. Caring for the community. The cruise industry needs to think carefully about how we as visitors impact the local communities and the destinations we travel to. Often local communities unfortunately experience the negative effects of mass tourism, but at the Herta Gruten Group, we believe it's vital that we contribute positively to the communities we visit. At Herta Gruten Norwegian Coastal Express, Local value creation has been part of our DNA for the past 129 years. We use local farms, local tour operators, and local competence to assist us in offering our guests the variety, the very best of Norwegian cuisine, the most memorable adventures, and the greatest crew guides, both on board and ashore. Herta Gruten Expeditions has further built this philosophy by strictly regulating ourselves to the following rules. Respect and support indigenous communities, their culture and their traditions. Ensure that the impact of our visits is minor and transitory, leaving no lasting signs. Develop, encourage, and maintain sustainable year-round activity instead of simply flooding the valuable sites during peak season and leaving them quiet for the rest of the year. 
contribute to the livelihoods and welfare of small coastal societies by engaging local competence whenever possible. Positively engage with communities through football games, cleanups, and assisting with important maintenance and repairs using the expertise of expedition crew and the ship's resources. The maximum number of guests on our expedition ships is 530. One example of our crew engaging positively with the community is in Cape Horn, one of our landings on the way to Antarctica. Here, our crew helps to maintain the network of boardwalks that exist for guests to walk on and to protect the flora and fauna. Across the Horn is difficult, making it hard for the Chilean National Park to undertake maintenance. So the ship's carpenter and some of the deckhands usually help out on each visit to Cape Horn. That's pretty cool. Citizen science. In order to protect and preserve our world, we must ensure that we are as knowledgeable as possible about how it works. Hurtigruten Expeditions offers year-round cruises all across the globe to some of the world's most hard to reach places and is uniquely placed to support science institutes across the world with vital research. By participating in citizen science projects, we offer our guests and crew a chance to make a meaningful contribution to scientific research whilst gaining a deeper understanding of the regions in which they travel. Herta Gruten expeditions participate in several different projects with at least two running on every ship departure. Here are a few examples. The Fiordo photo, this project relies on data collected by Arctic travelers as they visit various fjords along the Arctic Peninsula throughout the astral summer. By collecting photoplankton throughout the summer across all our sailings, citizen scientists can help researchers understand how melted glacial water can influence and change the population of photoplankton in fjords and what impact this might have on the polar coastal ecosystem. Crew members assist our guests in the collection of oceanographic data and biological samples. Guests can then examine the mic microscopic ocean life in the Science Center. This project has engaged around 2,500 travelers from all parts participated operators since its launch in 2016. Happy Whale. All our expedition vessels assist in tracking individual whales throughout the world's ocean. By harnessing the power of millions of whale watching enthusiasts, Happy Whale is expanding the scientific knowledge of their behavior and distribution. Just like humans, whales are unique and recognizable. Individual whales can be identified by their pigment patterns by the shape of their fins and flukes and by distinctive scars. Guests are invited upon spotting a whale to photograph and submit images of these unique traits to a database. Happy Whale will then compare those photos to known individuals in whale identification categories to help track their movements. Other projects include Shakai Disc Worldwide, Globe, Call, excuse me, Globe Cloud Observations Worldwide, Polar Tag, which is in the polar region, Sea Leopard Project in Antarctica, Snow LJ in Antarctica, Seabird Surveys for ASI, eBird in Antarctica, Bird Observations, eBird Worldwide, Identify Source of Plastics, MS, Rollout Edmondson, and Aurorhonasus. Uh, which is in Norway, and that's in the winter. Cleaning up our act. At Hutergruten Expeditions, guests and crew regularly engage in cleanup activities that help to remove rubbish that litters the wonderful coastlines we visit. Although cleanups won't eradicate the problem, they are important steps to take towards creating a cleaner and safer environment for the wildlife and communities that call these places home. Now just the next video there is talking about the beach cleanup, about worrying about all the amounts that are getting washed up. But our efforts don't stop here. We have also brought this initiative to the UK and pre-COVID had 
started holding annual cleanups at RSBP reserves across the country. We hope to start the initiative up again in the near future. And should you wish to get involved, please register your interest by emailing the UK at events.com. <coughs> Excuse me. Find out what you can expect from the video below. So the video talks about all the different beach cleanups and you know what they've got going on. All right, the Hertha Gurton experience. It's been almost 130 years since we first pioneered expedition cruising. With this industry, we are aware of the huge responsibility that comes with sailing in some of the world's most vulnerable areas. Through the years, we have seen the changes that are happening around the world up close to battle the increasing challenge, change in climate, plastic waste in the oceans, and unsustainable mass tourism, we must do our part and ensure <coughs> Excuse me, sustainability is integrated across our oceans. That's why we founded the Hertha Burton Foundation, which is collaborated between Hertha Burton, its passengers, partners, suppliers, donors, to make an actual difference. By preserving endangered wildlife, battling plastic waste and marine litter, supporting local and global projects in the areas we operate. Total donated to date is 4,300,000 NLK. Total projects 41, total countries 11. So they're starting to get everybody uh, in. Let's see here. So the world's Greenest Cruise Line. What year did we impose a fleet-wide ban on non-essential single-use plastics? <coughs> Is that 2018, right? And the, yeah. and the questions and the answers. Let's see here. Yeah, 2018. Then uh, MS Roland with the MS Fjords and Nansen. And looks like docks equipping three of our coastal ships with the uh, facilities reduce the eighty percent emissions. I think that's really good. Eighty percent. Okay. Maximum number of guests was five thirty. And then it's two. Okay. How many citizen science projects? Perfect. Thank you for the answers to uh May May. Thank you. You guys are going a little bit fast for me. I'm on number two. The second question? Yes. That's Which... the MS Roland? Rawled, okay. Yeah, Rawled. MS Rawled. Whatever Rawled. we call it. And <laughs> yeah, three was equipping the coast. 80%. Okay. Yeah, I put it in the chat for you also. Yeah, and then uh, the guest number is 530. Okay. And then the last answer was two. There's two scientific programs. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thanks, Mamie. I got it in the chat too. Oh, you're already in the next one, girl. You're good. Thanks, girl. <laughs> well, I didn't know if everybody was going to try to stay on and stick it out or not. So I wanted to make sure I just sent it to y'all. <laughs> I gotcha. We appreciate it. Definitely. I mean, I don't mind reading, you know, just so that we can get, come on, guys, the information. You know what I mean? It is pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. All right. So a new Nordic coastal adventure. There's a new way to explore Norway's coastline, a new era of Hurtigurten travel to celebrate our 130 year anniversary in 2023. Oh my God, you're kidding? Everybody, we all got to go up there next year. We got to drag Marty with us. We're, <laughs> we're excited to launch two new voyages. The Svalbard Express in summer and the North Cape Express in winter. This module will go into each voyage in more detail. All right, a new Nordic adventure. To celebrate 130 years of being Norway's lifeline, we're launching two exceptional new sailings on board two newly refurbished MS Trollford. One is the new, one is the revival of an iconic voyage to Svalbard, the crown of Arctic Norway. The other is an icon to the making as we sail from Oslo, Norway's capital, for the first time and explore new places even we have never visited. 
These voyages offer a new way to explore the Norwegian coastline with Hurtigruten Norwegian Coastal Express. They come with more time in port, more included in the price, and a more premium onboard experience. The next slides will develop into the voyages in more detail and give further information on what your clients can expect when sailing on one of these iconic sailings. All right, here's the new uh, Svalbard Express route. The Svalbard Express is a nostalgic voyage back to the northernmost reaches of the world, bathed in the light of the midnight sun on a route we first sailed back in 1968. On this special reimagined voyage, guests will embark on a sumptuous nostalgic voyage along the Norwegian coast up to the Svalbard archipelago in the high Arctic, 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 oh my gosh, and back. Visit a variety of charming coastal communities on mainland Norway and on Svalbard. Plus take their pick from authentic locally run optional cruise excursions. Experience variations of summer the length of Norway, bask in 24 hours of daylight from the glorious midnight sun. That looks fun. They got a lot of ports they stop at. The Svalbard Express, itinerary variations, a new Nordic historical adventure. The Svalbard Express, full voyage, 16 days, <clears throat> departure eight days between June and September, 2023. The itinerary is Bergen, Andelsen, Trisna, Stockholm, Tromsø, Hansberg. Oh my God, I can't even read all these names, guys. Um, they have additional inclusions of economy class return flights from UK to Bergen. One night in a four-star Bergen hotel, including breakfast, transfers in Bergen. The Stalvard Express northbound. So this is just half of the trip of the up above one. Eight days between June and September. Andelsnes. Trena, Stomarknes, Tromso, Honesvag, Bjornva, and Langjurben. Uh, they have transfers in Bergen and Langjurben. Two nights in a four star hotel in Langjurben, including breakfast, camp, Branitz Wilderness evening excur excursion, the hybrid powered catamaran tour on the MS Bard. And then the Express Southbound is 10 days. To, again, departure eight days between June and September. Um, additional inclusions are the transfers in the Long Ritzen and the Bergen. Two nights in a four star hotel in Long Urban, including breakfast, camp, Baronet's wilderness, evening excursion, and again, that hybrid powered catamaran tour on the Bard. This here is the North Cape Express Route from vibrant capital Oslo, MS Trust Ford sails to Norway's oldest lighthouse in Lindersness, the country's southernmost point and sets course for the most northerly North Cape and the snow covered reaches of 71 degrees north. On this exciting history making voyage guests will sail the Norwegian coast, one of the world's longest coastlines all the way from capital city Oslo in the south to North Cape in Arctic Norway at the top of Europe. Learn about local communities along the coast across a range of latitudes and join a range of exciting optional seasonal excursions. Choose to sail in autumn, winter or spring and experience warmer climate in the south to snow covered mountains and maybe even Northern lights in the Arctic North. See here, North Cape Express, their itinerary variations. So the North Cape Express for the full voyage is Oslo to Bergen. Its length is 14 days. It's got eight departures between October, 2023 and March, 2024. So these are all like next year, next year adventures. The itinerary starts in Oslo and then it ends in Bergen. Uh, additional inclusions. They got economy clash return flights from UK to Oslo and Bergen to UK. One night stay in four star city center hotel in Oslo, including breakfast. Oslo panorama sightseeing tour. The seven Fjell Bury visit and tasting. And then you, of course, include the transfers in Oslo and Bergen. And then the North Cape Express, which is the other 
way on the uh, full voyage here from Bergen to Oslo. That's again, 14 days. Eight departures again between September 2023 and March 2024. And this one again, the itinerary starts in Bergen, Bergen and ends in Oslo. The additional inclusions is the economy class flights again from the UK to Bergen and Oslo to UK. One night in four star city center hotel in Bergen, including breakfast. Seven Fjall brewery visit and tasting. Oslo panorama sightseeing tour and then transfers in Bergen and Oslo. So introducing the new MS Trollfjord. <clears throat> this ship is named after the spectacular Trollfjord in Vesterlandland. Inside she provides superior comfort in wide open facilities and interior design that makes extensive use of Norwegian wood and stone. Fully refurbished for the additional of these voyages, the MS Trillford will be a homage both to Norwegian nature and our 130 year heritage sailing the Norwegian coast. The style of decor is timeless and unique in our fleet. Guests will notice details and flourishes that evoke a sense of nostalgia, harking back to a golden era of exclusive small ship sailing. Oh man, those pictures are beautiful. The ship facilities, it's a double story observation lounge on the upper decks, large outdoor sun deck with two hot tubs, Espelin Johnson lounge, stylus bar with a range of beverages, piano with resident and guest musicians, library and onboard shop, panoramic sauna and fitness room, activity center and lecture hall, photography area with camera equipment available to rent, that's cool. Three onboard restaurants, the main bistro and fine dining, top show, top deck show kitchen for cooking classes and tasting. <clears throat> activity center and lecture hall. The activity center and lecture hall will be the hub of the MS Trollfjord where guests will be joined by our onboard coastal experience team who will lead a series of onboard activities to enhance the guest experience. Some examples of onboard activities include the lectures and presentations covering topics such as Norwegian traditions, fjords and mountains, nature, wildlife, photography, life in Norway, and many more. Cinema and movie nights, art workshops, they got point of interest and deck activities. Our experience team will also run activities ashore which will be dependent on the itinerary, weather, and seasonality. These couldn't these could include activities such as hiking, stand-up paddleboarding, snowshoeing, sledging, I think it's supposed to be sledding, but sledging and more. Our classic voyages have three members to each coastal experience team, but on these iconic sailings, guests will be joined by up to five team members. Onboard dining. Main restaurant. Here, are the, me here the menus will be based on old preservation methods such as smoking, salting, curing, and drying. Meals will take inspiration from historic local dishes that have great significance along the entire coast of Norway and from iconic recipes that we have had on the menu when we sailed the Europe Express route from 1968 to 1982. Meals here are included for all guests and they will be available to choose from three starters, three mains, and three desserts. They also have the Bistro or the Brasserie. In this all-day dining restaurant, hearty, tradition dish, hearty traditional dishes will be served that represent the coast and all the fantastic ingredients available along our route. Dry aged meat and fish from drying cabinets, micro herbs and cress from herb cabinets, and iconic dishes such as whole roast, shed legs, that's kid goat, Boknalam or whole roasted Finnmark char. This is a supplemental restaurant to the main restaurant where all day dining is included for all guests. They also do have a la carte fine dining with an open kitchen. Exclusive dishes of good, honest, and simple food will be served for sweet guests. Sea urchins, scallops, oysters, crayfish, and seasonal vegetables is what Norway does well as they grow slowly under the midnight sun becoming stuffed full of flavor. 
available for sweet guests for their three daily meals. This restaurant will also have cognac, cheese, and caviar trolleys for guests to pursue along the sommelier. Okay, come up. <clears throat> Refreshments. Another important meeting place on the ship will be the Panorama Bar. The rich bar menu will be based on short distance historic drinks that have cultural heritage on the coast. With a focus on hand-picked fruits and berries along the coast of Norway, beer made from water sourced from Trollford and gin brewed in the clear fjords of Troms, fantastic signature cocktails are served here that reflect Norwegian coastal traditions. A special addition to these sailings is afternoon tea. This will be served to all guests every day. Sweet guests in the Espelin Lounge and select guests in the Panama Bar. It will consist of fresh finger sandwiches, freshly baked scones, jam, lemon curd, cheese, excuse me, cream and champagne with the menu changing daily. Fair structure. The North Cape Express and Svalbard Express have a different pricing structure to inclusions to our classic voyages. We have two fair structures available for these voyages. Select pricing, which includes full, full board with all day dining, drinks package, select wine, beer, and soft drinks, complimentary water, tea, and coffee all day, afternoon tea and cakes at the Panama Bar, choice of a choice of cabin number, Norway's Coastal Kitchen, welcome basket, visit a visit to the bridge at the discretion of the captain and complimentary Wi-Fi. The sweet pricing. <clears throat> a la carte dining every day, room service optional for fine dining breakfast, full onboard fine dining, all items in cabin minibar, exclusive dinner with ship senior officers, afternoon tea and cakes at the Espel and Lounge, exclusive drinks package, seasonal clothing package, two, oh wow, two optional seasonal excursions included, access to exclusive suite lounges, including personal check-in service, and then you also get a turndown service. Unique selling points, a new Nordic travel adventure. To summarize, these are the key selling points of these iconic new voyages. They are exciting itineraries that deviate from the traditional routes along the Norwegian coast. Guests will get more time in ports and therefore more time to experience Norway. New ports will be visited, including ports even we have never visited before. Guests will sail on a fully refurbished ship with a different look and feel to the traditional coastal ships. The food concepts on board include, including chef demonstrations, fine dining with an open kitchen, and all day dining in the bistro. The onboard experience, larger coastal experience team, more activities included and more activity yeah, opportunities to take part. These itineraries take inspiration from our history and legacy, inviting guests to experience part of the Hoot Gruten's history. All right, guys, I lost my screen that had the answers, so help me. When these voyages set sail in 2023, what anniversary will Hertha Burton be celebrating? Is that 130? Okay. <laughs> 130. All right. Which voyage will sail to Long Yerben on a route we first sailed in 1968? Is that the Salbard Express? Which one? Let's see. Could be. That's the only one I know. Yeah, I think it's that Svalbard. Yeah, like, that's what Mimi's saying. Yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I know, Sorry. I can't these names here. <laughs> Which voyage will include an Oslo panorama sightseeing tour and North seven, Cape. the North Cape? Yeah, the, the North Cape. Missouri. Okay, it was flights from the UK. That's cool that they get the flights too. Let's see here. Up to how many people will make up the coastal experience team on the MS Trollford? Is that uh, five? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and which restaurant will all day dining be on offer? Bistro. Bistro. 
The Bistro, okay. And next one, what are some of the key USPs for the new sailings? All Is that of them. all of them? Yeah. All right, all of the above. Oh, we got Yay, we got it, guys. Yay. I want my teddy bear. I'm I'm too. That's what I said. I ain't waiting. I want the dang teddy bear, man. Thanks uh -huh. for the answer to good Mimi. <laughs> Great work, everybody. Thank you very much, Linda. Yes. Well, you're Linda. Well, you're Linda, very welcome. You, Linda, when it takes you back out to the beginning, it gives you very specific instructions of how to send in for the teddy bear. Oh, oh perfect. Okay. So make sure you follow them. But I mean, they're simple, but very specific. You gotta, yeah, I was going to say, if they're specific, you've got to follow them to get them. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to get my certificate downloaded right away. <laughs> yeah. All right, I get that. Woohoo. Oh, I have a problem. I have an uh -oh. internal problem. They better send me my certificate. I bet there's a number that you can, you know, call. Let me see here. Am I finished? Got that. Well, they should email it. Let's see if they emailed it. Um, yeah. One second while I get my email. Let's see here. Yes, they will email it to you. Okay. Oh. Woohoo! They better. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks again. See you guys. Enjoy your weekend. You're very welcome. You guys have a great weekend, too, now. Thanks for everything and for sticking on. Everybody got it all set and done? Yes, ma'am. All right, perfect. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, guys. I had fun. You're welcome. You, too. You guys all have a great afternoon now and enjoy the Thank rest you. of your day. Y'all too now. Thank you.
Hey guys, I can't get uh, the Zoom to end. Marty, I don't have the control. So um, if you guys can leave, thank you. We can get it to, to stop. Thanks, guys.